That's because the other Cyrax is the fake. I have mine with two X's. I own this name, bitch. Rotom is my old friend. So come to talk with you again. Because I'm feeling just like a day. This is the thing that I was in there. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. And in the dreams I walk alone. There are streets of cobblestone. We are the living I find a color to the cold in town. And I heart the sun when the flash of a neon lights is still the night. It does the sound of the sun. And then I make a lot of songs. Ten thousand people, maybe more. You got drunk and way that I leave me. You got hear it when the love is done. You got a song. That voice is never shared. No one dares hear the sound of oh, silence. And I got a tune on the floor. I live like a cat of rose. In my world, I'm not fighting you. Wow, what a powerful song. I think it's perfectly fitting considering the fact that I am making a very powerful statement about the depravity of one Chance Wilkins. Now this goes beyond sexual attraction to kids. The levels of depravity here exceed every known bound. It seems that when he was, he was with Heather, he was engaging in a bizarre fetishistic lifestyle of adult parenting baby adults. Now, what does this mean? What are you referring to? 
That's a great question. It's a very fair question. And I'm just going to get right into it. Just as soon as I can figure out how to uh, share the link here. Okay. All right, so we got that there. Bear with me one second here. Show proof. Uh, little fungus, patience, please. Now, this lone wolf star guy is an elf. But you can see him here, and it's still on Chance Wilkins' old Facebook page if you want to see for yourself, if you're a doubting Thomas, if you're a pundit in the peanut gallery. But you can see him here referring to Heather and Chance. I guess I can't highlight, but right down here with little arrows, Heather and Chance as this man's father. Meanwhile, this person was 23 years old at the time that this took place a few years ago. Um, I don't know if you guys know the doctor, Dr. Alistair Damonson, very well at all. Um, but he was able to successfully convince everyone that he was a pedophile, and I'm sure that Chance was no exception. Although, when the allegations were made, Cyrax still chose to defend his cousin, James. Um, now we know, we all know now, that it was all just a clever ploy and a ruse to troll us. It was a nine-phase plan to convince everyone that he was friends with a child groomer who went to prison. That was all part of his gag. Right? It was all part of his lure to, to reel us in and to teach us all a lesson about virtue signaling. Um, but you hear this adult who is of no blood relation to Heather or Chance saying that he wants to cuddle with them at night. And when he gets scared, he wants to be like Cyrax. Well, we've all seen Cyrax when he's confronted with danger. Um, he was actually with Heather in one instance when the police came over knocking on his window and fearing it was a rival juggalo gang member, he pushed Heather out of the way and sprinted up to his attic, which is currently now his home. Uh, shout out to Cyrax's move, by the way. He's moving on up, uh, literally, figuratively. Um, he's doing his best Anne Frank impression, although uh, a lot louder. I would imagine if Anne Frank was carrying on like that, she would have been found a whole lot sooner. Uh, nevertheless, uh, my heart is with you. I can't lie. You two are my home. Oh, by the way, shout out to, uh, to Skull Kid for finding this shit. Thank you, sir. Big, big, big ups to you. Uh, almost forgot to give credit where it's due. Uh, definitely don't want to deprive him of, of his research here. It's pretty impressive. And uh, his yield is pretty pernicious. Um, I love you, mom. You have a beautiful voice. You, mommy and daddy, Heather and Chance are just amazing. You make me want to live. The last three nights before I went to bed, the last words I said were, I love you, Heather and Chance. This is just fucked up. This is, this is, this is just more than I can withstand here. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What's up, Skull Kid? How are you doing, sir? Uh, thank you very much for the score here. This treasure trove of uh, degenerate behavior here. Really just fucking depressing, too, with all these sickos in this community. Um... Corpse, yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah. somebody said earlier that uh, you, you simp for Jamie, now you simp for Cyrax. It's whatever, man. You know, you can you can hate my guts, but all of this is retaliatory towards Cyrax. Um, he is constantly and chronically the instigator of all things. Um so this person is talking about crying themselves to sleep because they're so in love with Heather and Chance being their parents. Um, I want to be with you two forever. I hope you never leave me. Okay. I mean, all pretty, 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 pretty sick shit here. Um, what else we got here? Uh, plenty of pictures of Cyrex 
liked pictures where um, oh, just weird fucking baby. I mean, sorry, Alex, dude. Your your obsession, your sexualization of babies is just fucked, man. Um, take a look at this right here. Here, one second. One second. Hang on. Uh, how do I do this? Check this shit out. Cute relationships. This little girl who's like fucking, what, seven or eight years old? Seems a little inappropriate if you ask me. Um, pretty, pretty fucking depraved. Uh, let me get something else here for you. What do you think about this? So this eight-year-old girl will never have a boyfriend, uh, but if she puts on a fucking wig, I can't control myself. I, I, I look at this guy. He literally can't control himself. He's overcome with lust for a child. Sick. It's twisted. I don't know what Cyrax can even say for himself at this point. Um, let us not forget. Uh, how do I pull this up here? Okay. Check this out. If you guys haven't seen Cyrax's compadre and his old label mate, his old buddy, his old internet good time buddy pal, uh, listen, he, they used to make music for pedophiles. I shit you not, it was two pedophiles making music for other pedophiles. Check this out. I've got a crush on her. She's a little young, though. Uh, no problem for, for this fucking idiot. I don't know, dude. I don't even give a shit, but I don't give a page back and wait till she's legal and that shit, yeah. You can tell she's legal. He can do with a lot of people. Well, let me tell you this. A little fungus. I don't know if you just saw the old pictures here. He was definitely focusing and highlighting on 10-year-old girls that drove him wild. You know, you can put any sort of spin you want on it, but to me, it's pretty fucking disgusting. To sexualize a child, highly unacceptable. I mean, pretty fucking creepy. Um, that combined with his weird adult baby fetish, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's suspect. It's definitely suspect to me. But listen to this song by his buddy, uh, uh, Label Mates. And let me know if you're still backing this guy. And if so, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I think it's all pretty fucking creepy. Um, maybe that's just me here. I don't know. Okay, a little fungus. Listen to the first couple of lines here. I've got a crush on an underage girl, and I'm going to groom her and stalk her until she's of age. And as soon as she's of age, then we will consummate our relationship. But it sounds pretty questionable. Until she's legal. What the fuck is correct? Called it kink shaming. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't think, you know, Lil Fungus is a pedophile supporter. I just think she is unapprised and trying to be contrarian right now. That is my best guess. Um, He's legal. He can hear with a lot of people sitting there with a can't be equal to me. You can't be equal to me. I'm gonna go in for the speed. I'm gonna go get my house and see. I'm gonna go. I mean, do I have a video of Cyrex getting fucked, uh, you know, by an eight year old boy? No, I don't. I don't have that. I don't have any sort of smoking gun there. Um, I don't have anything that conclusive. All I have is a man here who, as soon as he meets a woman, 
he immediately starts calling her kids his own and starts fawning for and desiring the day that he can move their, his, their little family into his household. Um, Cyrax has hinted that he's into golden showers. I mean, I'd say that's kink shaming. Um, you know, if a midget wants to be peed on, then uh, that's really not my business. But I would say that society has an obligation and a duty to try to protect children, you know, maybe. Um, that's just kind of where I stand on it. Um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty depraved. Uh, what, what else we got as far as, like, his sick shit? Um, Okay, yeah, let me show you his label mate here. Um, the guy who talks about grooming underage girls and not caring that they're underage. Uh, this is Cyrax's old label mate, Johnny Schizo. Um, Cyrax doesn't really like to talk about it a whole lot. Um, what is this? Um, wow. You know what? Even if he... <laughs> Cyrix would never take accountability for it. He would never admit it in the first place. Uh, Dimrak, I believe Dimrak is a uh, like a rapist. I think he's like a known rapist. He's like a YouTube rapist. That's the best of my understanding. A legend rapist, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, so let me let's take another look. See at this uh, fucking guy here. Um, and so I guess Chance is also into My Little Ponies. You know, as an accused horse fucker, I almost probably shouldn't even be touching the subject. But uh, from what I've come to understand about the My Little Pony community, it seems to be rife with pedophiles. Um, you know, I guess it's got like a little football team on it. You know, uh, to be honest, like, this doesn't really do anything for me sexually. Uh, but I like horses. I like to gamble on football. You know, I'm not totally opposed to this picture. But uh, then I, I, I later have come to find that it's all fucking, uh, how, how should I say this? Uh, it's filled with pedophiles. You know, I don't know if... if I don't know much about this community. It creeps me out a little bit too much, and I don't like associating horses with sexual degeneracy. It's just, uh, you know, kind of mucks up the whole thing for me. Um, oh, my God. I don't even know if I can show this shit, Skull Kid. All right, yeah, we got another. This, this creep we used to make pedophile music with and for and together. Um... His old label mate, his old running buddy. Um, well, this is pretty interesting. I, I mean, I hate to do this to you, Skull Kid, but uh, uh, it seems like Chance initially came up with Skull Kid. And it seems like Skull Kid is essentially ripping him off. Um, I don't know if you guys can come to some sort of agreement where you get to be Skull Kid. And he gets to, to stay a shadow blade. Um, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, it would require a certain amount of uh, gentleman ship, which isn't a word, but we'll go with it. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if you'd be willing to make that exchange school kid, but uh, it's something to consider. Um, what else we got here as far as this goes? Okay, oh, man. I guess this was taken off of, of Chance's Facebook. Look at this shit. Dude, this shit is apparently... Skull okay, if this was taken off of, of Chance's Facebook, then this guy needs to be fucking evaluated, you know? And, and any woman he meets off the internet with kids who he tries to move in there should really, really, really reconsider it because this is just fucking... Uh, it's sickening, Cyrax. Um, he's got a picture of a dog with its ear ripped off. That's just fucked. Um, what is this shit, Chance? Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck is this? 
Dude, oh my god, Chance, you're sick. This is obviously fucked up. I, I mean, I'd like to think so. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, I lost a few bucks on a uh, Seahawk Madden simulation earlier today. Uh, they just got fucking smoked. It was ridiculous. Chance loves posting dead babies and animals. I mean, I don't even want to show this picture of this dog here. It's just depressing. It's fucked up. Um, yeah, so when, I'm going to go back to this bizarre little uh, relationship that I don't even know how to describe this. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, knowing all these things, his association with a adult baby fetishist uh, just rubs me the wrong way. Um, him telling Heather and Chance that that he loves them as their, as his parents and like the, they fucking tuck him in at night. Um, you know, I guess if if that was it, fine. But Cyrex. As most of these people, in my opinion, don't. He, he doesn't keep it confined to adult kink. And uh, when he starts looking at pictures of, of children and expressing a, a desire and an attraction, at, at that point it becomes more than just uh, taboo. You know, at that point it becomes an actual fucking concern. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I mean, um, I'm not sure what you guys think about all this. It, it all seems pretty fucking sick to me. Um, it doesn't look like any of the 47 Chance FB profiles. Well, Lone Wolf Star is not. Um, he is the parent. Or, or I guess he's the son of, of Chance and Heather. Um, Star Shadowheart or Lone Wolf Star uh, are not uh, Cyrex, if that makes sense. Well, Triple A, uh, let me, okay, let me ask you this. If you don't buy it, and you don't necessarily have to, you know, um, but let me let me show you a couple more pictures here, and, and let me ask you if you have this shit on your Facebook or if this is something that you would ever um, believe in or adhere to or subscribe to. Um, it just seems like, like sick pedo shit to me. Uh, here, one second. They're with me. I don't know where I put it. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. I mean, what I see here are, are children. I don't know what you see when you look at these two kids, but um, apparently Chance is scoffing at, at the above image and in the bottom image, he's saying that he is basically, he's got, he's got his dick hard for a fucking child. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, big old reach on the skull killer. Relevant relevancy chair. I want to know what you're talking about. Uh, Later, BK. You have a good one, sir. Um, all right. So, yeah, the other thing they wanted to get into was his, his terrible um, Big Will memorial. Um, he, he wanted to honor Big Will, I guess, by, by doing some laps, some, some driving laps, and it was just a colossal failure. And... The saddest part about it to me is he tried to blame his new racing harness that Sally bought for him. Like, to me, that was just fucking bullshit, Cyrex. Take responsibility for being an up at the game. You're a doofus. You can't drive for shit. It is not the harness's fault. This is breaking truth. Okay. Uh, here, wait one second. Bear with me one tick here.
All right, so yeah, it's from earlier today. He's still mourning uh, Big Will, the loss of Big Will. Um, initially, when Sire first heard about it, um, he said that he's basically saying that Big Will got what he deserved for dissing his music. This year, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to throw it out here in the daytime just to make it easier. Wait a second, this is a DIY project? I mean, when you put it like that, it's kind of impressive, to be honest. Like, I don't think I'd be able to make myself a, a badass big boy racing harness. Um, I, I wouldn't want to. Uh, but I will tell you this, and this is actually kind of kind of embarrassing, and like probably one of like the heights of degeneracy. But uh, uh, when I was a younger man, uh, uh, back when the, you know the local harness racing track was was still open, uh, and we'd always race at night. But uh, when I would go over there, it was mostly a uh, like a highway shot to get there. Um, but I would take uh, uh, two shoestrings. Um, I'd, I'd tie them at like 10 and 2, like like they were reins. You know harness racing, like they ride in a little cart. Uh, I, I would take the, the two uh, reins, uh, and I, I would lean all the way back, and I would just tug on the left and the right to s steer. Because you, you can't do like a full left or right turn with it. But uh, if you're on the highway, you can keep yourself in the lane with the strings. And, uh, you know, when I wanted to accelerate, this is it's just so sick. Uh, but, uh, I'd have like a Slim Jim, like a beef jerky and, 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 I, and, I, and I whip, you know, I'd whip with it and, uh, it, you know, it was a, it was a good time. Um, highly unsafe, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a sick human being. What can I say? Oh, good evening. Schmuck and cat. <laughs> what's going, what's going on, Mark? Yeah, How not, are you doing? Not too much. Just, uh, taking uh -huh. in the, taking in this Florida game and it's, it's not going so well. Oh man. Yeah. And yeah, the way it she happens. goes, you know. It happens. The way she goes. Just been yeah, sure. my breath with the Snow Queen as usual, you know. Oh, uh, what's she doing? She lost one of her hugest supporters today. Um, it's a shame. A guy was really, you know, I'm getting ready to buy her a new bed. I'm really glad he didn't just waste the fucking money. Like, I, I Ooh, what, what do you mean? Uh, like I like she. This guy's been watching her for a long time now. Um been watching her you know longer than i have it's been four or five years he's probably been giving her i don't know probably good six seven hundred dollars you know donations helped her out supported her stuck up for her in all the channels like and he like blocked someone and he took her wrench he took like her his wrench away and he got pissed about it and it's like oh. the lady just has no concept of loyalty and she's just like listen to this she listens to this one lady all the time and like the ladies leaked her nudes and just fucked her over so many times but yet she continues to listen to her and you know, he's just oh, trying uh, to help her out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, Michelle. You know, he's just trying to help the lady out so many times, but like nothing sticks. It's fucking, it's amazing. You know, I don't know. It's amazing. Um, it's great. You know, it's it's too bad. Yeah, well, Black Cat. A lot of that was, was today. Like I parlayed it yesterday. Uh, this is the last leg of it. I, I hit Wisconsin. Uh, who played yesterday? Uh, I, I had Texas over Colorado, uh, and then I, you know. I, I find out today that everyone is fucking in. They're sitting out on Florida. They're not playing. Like, their top four receivers are just out. And, you know, he threw fucking three interceptions in the first quarter, and it's just been a shit show. Um, but, yeah, yeah, thanks, Black Cat. Thank, thanks, thanks a lot. All the games are, what, Friday? All the good? Like, are they still yeah, doing all the yeah. bowls and shit? I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking NBA is looking just tragic. You that worried about Connick? You dug that deep. Uh Oh yeah, I guess he's not a King Tuck fan. I mean, I think we've all dug pretty deep on Tonic. I, I can't yeah. um, judge there. Uh, but yeah, what are, what are your thoughts on Big Will's passing? Um, it's a, it's really unfortunate. I saw Cyrex actually. I don't know when he did it. I was just perusing through the videos. I think it was today. Fucking Memorial Drift. Is that what we're watching here? The Memorial Drift thing. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was fucking thrown back. I'm like, please tell me that's just a troll. He's not going to be like, this one's for you, big whale. And you definitely did. Like a figure eight and shit. I'm like, please let me just, like, please be a fucking troll. Please be a troll. Yeah, it's not person. just, I want to play this game and I'm going to do that. No, it became a dedication to big whale. All right. I figured maybe there'd be some tracks in there. I'm not sure if he does any music. Uh, I, you know. Um, no, no, I don't think he does. I, I, it was big. Is Big Will a fan of drifting? Is, is this why he's doing this? Or no, I mean... no, no. He, he, you know, Big Will doesn't drive. Uh, I think he's anti-car for the most part. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't get why Cyrex would fucking just be sliding around the fucking yeah, they're <laughs> crashing into shit for Big Will. I mean, maybe he would host something or. Maybe he drank oh. a fucking twelve pack, or well, like, well, that that was yesterday, right? Or like, or this morning, rather. I believe really so. Funny. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is actually fresh. He uh, he decided that he was going to do a run for Big Will, and uh, it was not good. Oh wow, he does it a was run not good him. at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here let me let me cue that up for you. Oh wow. Um, Tradition, but. Yeah, he started off uh, driving at night. I guess, you know, he felt like his vision wasn't optimal. And uh, he kept sliding around into things. You know, was it his harness in? So it's like, you know, would, would be at the same place? Was he wearing his harness? Well, that's the thing. He, he, he sh- <laughs> that's the great thing about this clip here is he shuns his harness. <laughs> Why? He, he blames his back, harness. Man, the fucking harness is holding me back like Marty. He, 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 bl- he blames the harness. Oh, Jesus, come on. Oh, sure. Yeah, he, he does. He does. Uh, I think he says, fuck this damn harness. Well, I'm going to do it old school danger style. Mar- Marty, I was watching one of your videos earlier. I don't know which one it was. It was like this morning you were saying, like, you were giving the statistics. And I'm like, you said it was like fucking like 54 rings, 54,000 or something like that on the oh, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. List. yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, of, out of the most popular gaming accessories, I think it was like the 45,000. Uh, most sold. Except, I've, I've never seen something like that before. No, I, I saw in the chat earlier. I don't know how true this is, but I've seen people are saying that he made it himself, and I don't know. I, I, I swear to God, I was just gonna ask that comment. I was literally actually gonna make that comment myself to you. That was gonna be the next thing out of my mouth. Was that um, I, did he make that, or is it like an actual thing? You know, I mean, if he made it, I almost want to give him some credit. It'd have to be for like kids, you know. Like that's not like like an adult one would definitely like um like oh it would be oversized for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would agree. So um, it's got to be like a kids thing, you know. Like I don't. I, do these I people really get that thing? Like they put the gloves on, maybe the glad the fire retardant suit, and they're like they, do they really go like all that far? And they put like all that shit on, and then like sit and race it behind their desk with the fucking big boy steering wheel. Like, is it that serious or well, I, I did read one customer review and they said that it, like, it doesn't really help or accomplish anything, but it just makes them feel cool. Like they put roll cages on their walls and shit. Uh, so Marty, yeah. um, yeah. how do you feel about Cyrex being upstairs again? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I didn't get to talk to you about that. Uh, within the um, it's, it's intriguing. Uh, I think the acoustics up there are terrible. I agree. Uh, I would agree. Um, I think it's probably more quiet for Sally Nat. I would hope so. so. Well, do you believe that it'll last, or do you think that they'll shun them back to the basement? Um. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily their decision. I think they would let Cyrex go wherever he wants. Um. But I, I don't know. I mean, I think the acoustics up there just aren't the same. Well, what would influence him to stay in the basement for so long and then go up there now? You think it just got cold, cold on him in the basement there? Uh, well, no. What he said actually was like, there's a lot of like, because like it's an old uh, furnace, mm-hmm. and like it was giving off a lot of CO two. <laughs> was getting dizzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and like I, I think like they said it was amazing that Cyrex hadn't suffered any like. <laughs> the fucking yeah. mutant man. He's like a cockroach. He could survive a nuke like a fucking nuclear bomb. Yeah, I guess they got it. Like, they got a detector, and like it almost broke the fucking. Thing. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Yeah, yeah, I swear to God. No, I swear to God. I swear to God. Wow. Yeah. Now they really do need to get that checked out. I'm gonna be concerned. Um, you thought, guys, a fucking broken, uh, a broken goddamn um smoke detector was a a, a goddamn hazard, a house hazard, like a 
fucking CO2, man. That's no joke. Like, I don't want to lose Cyrex. Ed can die, even Sally, but as long as fucking Chance survives, yeah, I'm okay I, I, with I, that. I'm okay I mean, with that. To be honest, I, I would, a part of me would feel like I could finally rest. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I, Marty, I think you should honestly contact Sally and like make arrangements for custody of uh, Chance, maybe get his check sent to you, and just get true full custody of the guy uh, when he passes, become his caretaker. And, you know, I'm sure you'd probably just, you know, like you said, just keep him painted up and outside of some fucking event dancing or even if he wasn't, you know, at an event, just keep him outside, you know, like a lawn ornament or something, just constantly dancing um, to earn his keep, you know, wait for the door get dash guy or something. But uh, yeah, you should maybe arrange that, you know, um, uh, may, you know, I'm sure Sally could monetarily be bought into that. I mean, she definitely seems like, I, I you, think she, you know, I think if she would actually, uh, when you wouldn't have to buy her, I think she'd, Actually, probably pay to get rid be of willing to give them up. Like, yeah. Would you take them now, Marty? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 you know, I couldn't imagine him screaming all day. It would just drive me insane. <laughs> You'd never be able to. Yeah. yeah I'd end up right. hurting him. I, I would. I'd end up hurting the kid. I really do think that. Um, You'd have to get him on some kind of schedule. Maybe slip some Ambien in his food. Yeah. I mean, like but there's no, or something. There's only so much Ambien though. Yeah, I was gonna. He probably would take like a fucking elephant tranquilizer or something. I, I would love to. I, I know he's against the drunk, the drinking as well. But I would love to see uh, just him drunk. How much it takes? We already know he's gonna be a mean drunk. There's no question about that. He's not a happy drunk. He's not gonna be a sappy. Hundred percent gonna just be a fucking rager. Probably. Um, I would love to see him on maybe a, a bit of PCP. Um, maybe you're, really, you're, you're really positive that you'd be an angry drunk? Oh, uh, uh, I think he might very rarely catch a sappy moment thinking about Zach Hussein or <laughs> Will or just all the women who have loved him and his fucking children. I, I, he might, but I think that would turn with a drop of a dime yeah, very, quickly, think, he, very he, quickly. Yeah, like you got to think he'd be just talking about his music and, and he'd perceive any slight as total disrespect and uh, feel almost obligated to defend his music with his fists, you know? An intoxicated performance would be pretty good as well. I could picture him screaming into his hands and then just a bunch of puke coming out of it. Just right after that. <laughs> just, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Um, yeah. Well, and, and here's, an, here's an, the amazing thing about Sardax and alcohol. Um, I'm not sure if it can affect his musical performance and improve it or not. But I definitely feel like it can't hurt his drive. Uh, oh, his what? I'm sorry, it wouldn't hurt his, his what? His, his driving. Oh, um, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna you can't keep him down. No. I'm going to throw down beer in the daytime just to make it easier. Yeah, I imagine the night probably wouldn't be the best for him. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, so let's just see if the day that makes any difference. <laughs> Were you big one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back and uh, and pull it up. But um, there's a part where like everybody, I think it may have been his drifting last night or his drifting he was doing earlier today. He's like, everybody, on the count of three, I want you to say R.I.P. Big Will in the chat. <laughs> and then, and then the game countdown went from three, two, one. Uh, I was just listening. I couldn't see if anyone and everyone was like, <laughs> Was he not, like, gone to his stream or seen it? Was he not on, like, Big and Butter? Yes. Like, how does he not – how does he – Who? so you just brought this to him. You fucking music biz already brought this to him, and he hasn't even fucking looked into it yet? Like – well, you know, a part of me, and this is just classic Cyrex, he wants to believe that he's involved in some sort of tragedy or, or crisis. Um, he's just using it? Tell him I, bloated Kiki died next. That'll be interesting, yeah. That would be interesting, yes. Um, well, we definitely had a mutual respect. <laughs> he liked me, man. I, was, yeah. I, was, you know, I would help him with his videos and his music. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Big Will always looked up to me, man. You know, I was kind of like a hero of his. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I had some beef with the Bender boys, but me and Big Will had a lot in common. Yeah. Both were at home. Both yell at our parents. Parents both yell at us. You know, we had a lot in common. Yeah. Uh, well, you can make all sorts of debates on who is, like, a, the better citizen, you know, who is – Ah, uh, has Big Will gone to jail? Has Big Will gone to jail that you know of for choking on his mother? No, no, I don't. I don't know. Has Big business. Will ever uh, clobbered? Well, has Cyrax ever uh, passed out in the parking lot with his pants down by his ankles? Great question. I like how you're. It, it's <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, there you know, the place you know goes both ways. You know, how many teeth? Yeah. Well, Cyrax has multiple teeth. That he shouldn't have, and Big Will has uh, under teeth that he should have. So I guess yeah, that's one, one, you know? one is severely overweight, the other is severely underweight. Like fucking uh, anorexic, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. They're both pretty short, but who's yeah. the shorter one? I'm I, saying I, Cyrax, I, definitely. Yeah, Cyrax is definitely shorter. Big Will is like five six, five seven. Mm, Big Will's got a full head of hair and a full beard. He's got that that's up on true. channel. Cyrax's teeth are less fucked up. Who do you think would win in a fight? <sighs> I mean, Big Will's got the the size advantage. Yeah, but I feel like he would be winded very quickly from being a smoker and a heavy drinker. Well, he doesn't smoke his cigarettes. He just kind of puts oh, that's true. Head. That's true. Yeah. That's true. He does not smoke a cigarette. No, that's a good point, Marty. Yeah. Hmm. And but you, then you got Chance here, who's you know he's pretty weak, but yet he's got the drive and could outlast him and stand. Damn, unless oh, hmm. That's a tough I think I could go either way. I think that Big yeah, Will same, would probably same. be the slight favorite. Same. Um, just like you know, a fight, anything goes, right? Just to, you know, depending upon how much Big Will had had to drink, you know, as well. You know, I would, I'd like to, I'd rather maybe have one or two of them. I don't want them completely sober, but I don't want them pissed drunk, you know. But uh, I feel yeah. like one or two beers, you know, to get them just going would be good. I wouldn't want them completely sober. Because when you see him drinking too much, you've seen him. He goes face down all on his own. Yeah, it just gets very sloppy, you know. His eyes go, you know, very shut and, you know, yeah. But, um, you know, I don't know. Um, the, 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 the Both their living situations isn't really, uh, you know, the, both their dwellings really aren't. I'd say Cyrex has probably got a bit of a better dwelling, you know, a bit more to move around. Is it fair to say that Big Will is just slightly ahead of Cyrex in the music industry? Well, he has hosted shows. Um, actual shows. Um, yeah, we will talk about some of these arrangements, though. Like, honest to God, he said that like it'd be like twenty bucks and like you know a couple of drink tickets for his uh for his payment. Yeah. And again, like, what is hosting someone? Like, hey, welcome guys to the show. Here's music, Biz Marty. Here's, yeah. I mean, like, what, like, what is really hosting consist of? You know, oh, greeting yeah. people, saying hello. Like, um, I've asked him countless times to just give us like. A thirty-second clip of what he does. Yeah, demonstration or something. Yeah, I've done yeah. the same. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I imagine like, what the fuck is up, Flint? Yeah, we're <laughs> out here. Up, yeah, Bender Boy is up in this piece. You know, <laughs> uh, we out here. Yeah, we, <laughs> right, 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 right. He's going down. Yeah, uh, and, yeah you know, I don't know. Um, um, He's kind of like the Michael Buffer of Flint rap, you know. You can, it's not really legitimate unless Big Will is hosting it. Well, it's, uh, hopefully, no one just runs over uh, and, and just runs to Cyrex. But what's the over and under? Do you think it'll take for him to realize that Big Will is actually still alive, or does he just know now and he's just going with the tragedy? I mean, well, I uh, I don't want to be responsible in any way for him coming to that realization. So. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either, you know. You know, let's watch this Big Will thing. I am going to continue watching. I'm going to step away, maybe make a little bit of coffee. Need something hot to drink oh, here. absolutely. But, yeah, um, like yeah, I'll right, be yeah. here. But, yeah, let's watch the Big Will run here for a second. I will be right back. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's made it into two turns so far. He's cr crashed three times.
I mean, I, sorry, I, I, I kind of want to count the crashes here. Um, so it starts at 27. Okay, that's one crash and one spin out. You know, I'm going to be generous and not give him a spin out there. That, when your car is facing the opposite direction, sorry, I have to consider that a fail. I'm sorry. Three and two. Right, three and three in the matter of 34 seconds. You know, that's four. It's, it's just going to be uh, – there seems to be too many to count. Yeah, I'm just going to give up on the counting because he's just that fucking terrible at this. Like, Cyrus considers this to be his profession. This is his calling. This is what he does better than anybody. It's just amazing to think that he talks in these fast and the furious jargon and lingo. Of, you know, I live my life one quarter mile at a time. If you ain't in control of your car, then you ain't in control of your life. You know, and just shit like that. And it's all based upon... <laughs> his little footy pedals, his big boy steering wheel, and now his racing harness. And this is the sad thing. He tries to blame the performance on his racing harness. Hey, Marty. Oh, shit. I know, random. I love being uh, random here, but do you rem do you remember when KSI took Fat Jesus's leg in the scooter uh, accident? Dude, you know, uh, from from honestly, from what I understand, and I don't know, like, uh, I I mean, I truly was under the impression that somebody did injure his leg in a, in a car accident. Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not. I never, I never really. I thought it was a goof at first too, but I mean, it's a bit. Yeah, you know, I I uh, I thought it was. I wasn't really sure myself, to be honest. Now I'm not just gonna ask the guy, you know. Yeah. Did he get his leg fucked up, you know. So. Yeah, no, I, I really don't know. Um, um, it was just a, such a random thought. I would, I don't know why, man. It was just a super random thought. I'm watching this fucking guy just fucking slither all over the track here, and I, this made me think of that. I don't know. I was just funny and champ, just to motivate the champ, uh, you know. What yeah. were we willing to do to get that kid fucking in shape, ready for the fight? But he just gave up, just like Cyrix. You know. But you know, at the same time, uh, you, you know, as far as pushing him to his limit and training him, if you know, he has a heart condition. Like he could, he could just go out at any moment. For sure, for sure, yeah. You know, if one of his legs snapped, he was, you know, like uh, I don't want to be. Uh, <clears throat> well, we didn't know that all back then, you know. We weren't aware of that at the time. In situ, you know, the time point in time, we weren't aware of all of Champ's health conditions, you know. And we just thought it was upstairs, you know, just in his head and shit. We didn't know he was built like a fucking bowl of pudding. He didn't have no bones, you know. Uh, we didn't know all that at the time, so. I just thought it was just like, uh, to be honest, if it were just going to be real hard, I just thought it was like, you know, a, uh, a special kid, you know, just a bigger, a, I just, uh, the fact that he was a bigger guy, you know, I just thought, you know, let's get him into shape a little bit, get him moving around. But uh, yeah, I didn't know he had a heart condition. Like I said, he's, you know, built like a fucking go-gurt, you know, he just, no, there's no fucking, there's goo inside. There's no bones. I didn't know all that, you know. Yeah. Uh, he definitely disgraced himself against Cyrax and awarding him the fight only did him a disservice in the long run. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I definitely think that Cyrax was the more efficient and the more effective fighter. He was definitely a lot more active. Um, you know, uh, definitely a, a miscarriage of justice. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we think that he's got his racing harness on, right? You'd hope so, man. If he didn't, he'd probably be fucking flying out of that car. Yeah. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Um, didn't look pleasant. I mean, sorry, just slow down, bud. Yeah, he I mean, he got so fucked up that he 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 wound up driving the wrong way and not even realized. Could this be? Could this be Marty? He's doing this for Big Will. Do you think maybe he had? A Dixie cup of beer and got fucked up, and <laughs> this is why he's driving this way. I mean, do you think he had a couple drinks for Big Will? You know, Big Will would drive drunk if he could drive, so I'm going to drive drunk. Like, could that be it? Or is I'd like to think so, but you also know that his stepdad or that his dad almost ruined him by getting him to drink alcohol. I do, him. I do. I know he's he's definitely against it. Um, shame yeah. on me for even probably bringing that uh, to the table, right? Yeah. Do you think he could drink alcohol without realizing it? Um, I mean, there are some out there um, that, you know, could probably get by them. Um, maybe like some Mad Dog 2020 or like give them a glass of fucking, um, you know, like Booms Farm wine and tell them it's like a soda or something. I'm sure. Yeah. Or maybe like a hard lemonade or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like a, one of those Mike's hard lemonades. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those aren't, you know, they don't I like know I'd imagine it honestly wouldn't take much either. Um it really wouldn't take much, I'm sure. Especially if he hasn't eaten that day, he could get fucked up on one, like guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah, but, but then after, you know, you, you run the risk of getting locked outside in the cold Florida weather and almost losing your leg. <laughs> the risk you take sometimes. The cold Florida weather, yeah, yeah. Like sorry, X. You're, you're fucking up so hard that you're going the wrong way. It's Fuck this damn yeah, you got no resets in this game, buddy. You can't hit that little rewind button <laughs> like in the other game. You actually well, got to drive in this one. Listen to this, and it's so unfair. Fuck this damn harness. <laughs> Fuck this damn harness. Rip that fucking thing off, man. Well, hang on, yeah, listen, listen to resets. <laughs> We're going old school danger style, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no safety equipment. Stop yep. the car. Yeah. Right. We're, We're going old school danger style, boys. You guys ready? No seatbelt. Nothing. No. I want to see those RIP big wheels in the comments. <laughs> Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this shit. That's so good. I gotta fucking clip that. That's definitely getting fucking clipped. Oh, it's so good. What's the timestamp on that? Oh, it's so getting clipped. Oh, it's 253. Beautiful. Oh, it's right. Okay. Two. One. Crash. Immediate crash. How did he fucking not know, man? He literally just does not oh pay attention to YouTube. He only uh, he only got shit brought to him. He does not watch like yes. other things. So he decides for Big Will he's going to put on a, a racing clinic and display his mastery. All <laughs> the big guy who is now upstairs. Uh, look, look what happens in the first ten seconds. He's going to need a fucking clinic. This is for you, Big Will. Oh my god. <laughs> what a fucking retard. <laughs> Marty, not to divert from the stream, but we got Rich live right now. What's going on with him? I uh, just tuned in here. Let's see what he's up to. Um, um doesn't look like he's doing much right now. He's driving. 
Awesome. Better than Cyrex. Yeah. Oh my God! What is it, man? This is. Uh, this, oh, I like, yeah, I don't. I don't think you could easily fuck up that badly in this game. Like, I think. I think you have to just be completely enough. There's like a bit of an echo here. Is that uh near you? There. There we go. Nice. Is that me? Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Let me turn you oh. down. I don't know how the hell I fucked that slide up. I fucked that slide up. Hold on, let me do this. I don't hmm. know how the hell I fucked that slide up. <coughs> yeah, there is an echo. What is Oh, that... Is um, that? No, I don't hear it anymore. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Yeah, wow. This isn't like something you'd want to dedicate to somebody. I mean, no. Maybe you could do like a song or a picture for him, like paint him a picture. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, Marty. Okay, so I thought about what you said the other day. You know, you, didn't say, you said you're not really active in the Discord. You weren't saying, you know, and I, I was like, let me pop up in there. I saw the art streams. Now, did he get a picture and just fucking color it in, or did he like paint the outline? Because I saw the part two and it looked like he was just coloring in the picture. Uh, the, the like the art, you know what I'm talking about? The art and chill stream. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if you maybe reviewed it or seen it yet, but it looks like he was just fucking. He had like a picture and he was just coloring it in with the paints, like like he wasn't painting. Oh, it. oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah coloring. Yeah, I have seen that. Um, yeah, what is that? Did he paint that picture? Or is he just coloring it in? I, you know, honestly, he's just coloring it in. Have you seen his abstract art? I uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> it's uh. Though the first thing he does is let me look up some abstract art. Like he's trying to copy abstract art and like that abstract art, something that comes from within you. It's not something you can like look up and be like, all right, I'm going to do this. You know, it's not like a Bob Ross painting fucking, it comes from within. Right. Yeah. I'm not a real expert, you know? Um, I mean, that's what I would think. Or maybe it's something that comes from your head. That's to be led to your own interpretation of what it is. Like if I draw a triangle on top of a circle, you may see one thing, but, I, as the artist, distinguish it as something else? Uh, perhaps. One of them just looked like a straight-up dick. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know which one you're talking about. I believe I do know which, uh, what you're talking about because I, I, I may have had the same thought, um, not to be gay. Yeah, no, it just, you know, it, you look at what it is, and it's a fucking dick. It, there's no way around it. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I'm not the only one, thank God. Uh, I didn't, you know, want to bring it up just in case. I mean. Yeah, uh, You're gay schmackle. Like, no, dude, that's a fucking penis. I also caught the best rapping that's tracks awesome. ever done here. Um, by far, without a doubt. <laughs> I did see this pop up on my phone earlier. <laughs> I would agree, Marty. I would agree. Um, that definitely close second up. With every trigger, I'm getting richer. It's like his new trademark now. Yeah, yeah. He's not even in the basement shivering. Or was that in the basement? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, I did see some other interesting things. Um, if we could get him to rap like a Bone Thugs and Harmony song or a Twista song, just something really fucking fast, that would be amazing. But I'm sure he doesn't, you know, he won't listen to that. It's not Linkin Park. I don't know it. Um, yeah, I got a, a few other uh, old Facebook videos here. Um, um, did you address any of that? Um, um, did, how far into the stream am I that I came into? Um, I'm not sure how far into your it's stream. Like an yeah, hour. Yeah. What's that? Play the freestyle. We talk about killing you after this cover. You know, like there's so many. Uh, yeah. You got to be more specific. Um, we have to link it. <laughs> yeah, his brain quits working. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's what happens. Um, another theory, which I don't think is the case, but he could be, you know, reluctant to drop the end bomb and he just gets kind of like the yips, you know, like uh, uh, he, he kind of has 
some nerves releasing it, but we know that's not the case. He has no problem calling people N-I-G-G-A all the time. Um, so, yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to find that for me. Uh, what else did I have here? Um, bear with me a second. Uh, all right, sorry about that. Uh, the Schmeckle pulled me away for a second. A question for you, though, Marty. Yep. Um, you've been killing these fucking streams, man. I love it. You've been streaming a lot the past month or two. Now that Big Will has passed away, would you consider yourself the new host of hosts? You know what? Honestly, um... I mean, I know you're not a cocky guy by any means, but I, I feel maybe you could take his place now that he's passed. Well, uh, you know, if you're going to compare me with the late, great Big Will... Um, I mean, I have to look at the metrics, but I do think that I would be comfortable taking that crown. Do you think you could maybe start drinking more? Maybe we could downgrade you to a trailer. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. move someone in with we'll get you know maybe Ro you know Rosie I'm O'Kelly in there with you, or just someone in there. Maybe Tony's grandma. Make my teeth all in and make, uh, my, make my teeth all gnarled and, and shit. So, so I did see on, <laughs> I did see, I was watching one of your streams. I believe it this was this morning's one. Like, and I was, I woke up this morning catching up on YouTube. The Tony messaged you and <laughs> wished you a Merry Christmas. And you told him you were Jewish. Did you ever uh, get any more conversation or further with um, me in that or? Um, let me check. I, I, uh, I just try and I hit him up now. I tried calling him a day or two ago and his phone just went straight to voicemail. Um, no, it's Reach's phone, but you haven't seen it. You know what? Um, I do remember when the shit with the mall happened. It was just before New Year. I mean, like the New Year, yeah? Yeah. yeah it was it, even though, like, it happened, like, you know, it would be like a week and a half, two weeks from the incident, like January 7th. He'd be like, that was last year. That was last year. Yep, yep. In the one, yep. Drop it, Marty. Just drop it. It's not a big deal. Shit. I don't know. Um, I was I, I was I was fucking around in Bloated Kiki's chat this uh this afternoon, and I said, "Man, I said I wanted to go for scumbag of the year this year and get two years running, but these motherfuckers just set the bar way too high this year. <laughs> like I ain't yeah. even going for it. Like um, no way I can top it, right?" There's no way I can, there's no fuckery I could do within the next couple of days that I want to do or even think about doing to get that award. And I, I'm good with that. I really am. I'll, I'll Maybe like shoot up something like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be like, there's already so many uh, within the past fucking month that have just, that uh, it's going to be a hard one this year. Hmm. Mm. Um, all right. Here, here's a pretty decent one. Uh, Star X is being sick of uh, he's sick of women using him for his money. Oh, we're doing Facebook videos? Yep. Nice. Okay. All right, here, let me pull it up. Those fucking uh, those gold digging hussies. Yeah, yeah. He's just he's sick of it. I could I can't blame him. Well, yeah, it's your boy chance. Okay. Well, wait, back that up. He doesn't come to us. I know the regular person. What was the first part? He's not coming as a YouTuber or music artist. I think music oh, artist. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but, um, but today I'm not coming to you as a music artist. I'm coming to you yeah. as a regular fucking person. He says it a lot. And this is something that. I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while now. Like, and I mean, I've been wanting to get this off my chest for... for so long, but... never really did. And this is like, this is what I've so why I'm fucking single on top of the other issues. As to why I'm single. And this is something that's been going on lately. A lot.
Now, if you guys don't know what the fuck's going on, is there's a girl I actually wound up blocking, and this is this happens to me all the fucking time, and I'm getting <laughs> of it, which is the fact of you know I sit there and I talk to a girl, get to know her, and genuinely she asks me, you know, what I do for work. Like, what do I do for a job or, like, what's my career? And I keep mind, the minute that I fucking tell her what my job is, the whole relationship thing starts becoming about getting to know me and starts becoming about the money. <laughs> and I'm getting fucking tired of being used just for money. <laughs> Can we get a pause, Marty? Can we get a pause? Sure. It's the machine. So do you think these women see Cyrex and they say, okay, this guy's got to be getting some kind of fucking check. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, be nice with him. And then eventually just like, you know, they, I, they just ask him for something. I don't believe it's because he tells them that he's an artist or a YouTuber. I believe they see him from the get go and they see a <laughs> target and the easy manipulation. Maybe um, you think that's the case or do you believe that um, he reveals that he's a mega YouTuber rapper star and, and, and they just, go for his pockets. What do you believe uh, their, well, their intentions are? Um, oh, shit. There's the echo. I'm going to exit and I'll be right back here. One second. All right. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there are women who are clout chasers, but like, unless you're like a known artist, have your song out there, maybe on the radio, they're not going to look at you and say, oh, wow, you've got fucking 300. I mean, some women might. There's some some low tier women out there who might do that, Roxy Red, um, who would <laughs> look at your clout and shit and try and be, you know. Um, but I, I don't think many women would look at Cyrex and say, "Okay, this guy's a fucking megastar. Let's try and get in his bank account." It's more like this motherfucker gets a goddamn check, and we're gonna try and get some of that. I don't think it's really he's a superstar or a fucking YouTuber that they're uh, really impressed with. Well. To Cyrex's credit, I, I I don't think he'd be the type of guy who would actually send anybody any money. Um, no, I I I I probably not. No, I would probably agree with that. Except for Leah and uh, you know his kids for Christmas last year, he sent you know all the money he made from getting kicked in the nuts and all that um to his children. So other than that, um, I don't I would agree with that. Yeah. Um. I don't even think that happened, but uh, you know, that's just me. Yeah. But, probably. probably. <laughs> Probably part of it. Um, I, I, I'd probably agree with you there. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Yeah. Money. And I'm getting fucking tired of being used just for money. Bitch, I'm not a fucking ATM machine. <laughs> I'm a real person with real fucking feelings. And like, just because I do music doesn't mean I'm fucking rich. Like just because I do music, that don't mean I got fucking money. Yeah, I'm making a pretty decent living. Like, not the most decent, but fairly decent. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, like, making less than a dollar a day is fairly decent. Not the most decent, fairly. Fairly. Like, I get paid every six months. What? Every six months... For those that actually buy my albums through Google Play or Amazon, on top of however much I move streams, which I need ten dollars to be able to withdraw that. So basically, what he's saying is he needs to wait every six months to build up ten dollars so he can withdraw. It. Wow, what's that break down to? Sixty like six months? How much well, does he get in six months? Ten dollars. Yeah, so it's so like a little bit under cents, sixty cents a month. Yeah, it's under a penny a day. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. He gets, you know, I think it would be rounded up. I think it's about like point five five thereabouts. Um, yeah. And I'm once again fucking tired of it. Like, you guys want to know? It's legitimately just random chicks. Just random ones, and I'm getting fucking tired of it. Like, I'm sick to death and tired of every chick I get with that asks me about my job or my career or what I do. And as soon as I tell them, I'm getting sick and tired of them always trying to, you know, and you can tell when they're doing it. They're like, Yeah, they just know that I'm about to get to $10. 
and uh, they know that I'm going to cash it out. And yeah. uh, they're just trying to get in my pockets. Like they become distant almost from the relationship and they start becoming about the money. Picture is more of a relationship than just money. <laughs> and yeah, it's hard, for me, hard enough for me to find somebody as is. You know, I don't smoke, drink, or do any stupid shit and I don't go out and party. That's hard enough. But when I do find that one person that actually does want to give me a chance, and I find out that they're just another leech trying to give up the money, what the fuck is your problem? What the fuck? Can you, can you imagine encountering Cyrex at a party? Oh, man. I, I, I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off of him. Like, dude, am I on drugs right now? Is this real life? It would be pretty hard. <laughs> And then when the chicks try to use me for fucking money, it's like that makes it a hundred times worse. <laughs> and I'm fucking tired of it. <laughs> I'm sick of these fucking chicks, you know, hitting me up, wanting to give me and then being about the fucking money. Sorry, bitch, I'm not your personal fucking ATM <laughs> machine. You're just going to fucking use me like that. And then when I tell them that I don't make much money, they up and run. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I thought you wanted to get to know me. But it's here about the money. Like, really? You're really going to be that fucking basic. Like, probably, hitting up, yeah. probably hitting up, like, prostitutes online. He's probably going to, like, Craigslist to the intimate <laughs> encounters instead of the personals <laughs> and talking to these women. He's like, why do they want money? Just I just don't understand. Like, I can't fucking fucking figure it out. <laughs> Like, when you're with someone, you need to be with them because you love them and care about them. Not because of the fucking cash or the money or whatever they fucking got. Now, I'm sorry I don't smoke. I'm sorry I don't drink or do fucking drugs or go out and party. I'm sorry I'd rather stay home and bust my ass in my career instead of getting fucking wasted at a goddamn club or a bar and possibly get into an accident and kill myself. Mm. All right. <coughs> I watched smoking cigarettes take my older brother's life. What? Wait. But no, it was fucking AIDS and cock that took your brother's life, Cyrex. Come on now. Well, did he die from lung cancer? Yeah, because someone fucking shot a bunch of semen. It was fucking down his throat, and he inhaled it. Maybe. Um. Oh, I thought it was like brain cancer or something. I don't know if it was. I don't think it was lung cancer. No, me neither. Because he had those big abscesses on his head. Maybe it just runs in the family. I don't know. Maybe uh, Cyrex will have that when he's 45. <laughs> yeah, no comment. 16. From lung cancer. From smoking for 30 plus fucking years. Oh, wow. I lost my relationship with my dad due to drinking drugs. And him wanting to do pot and do all that instead of having a What? <laughs> it's it's worse. Worse. It's worse. Yeah. I mean, I imagine living with Cyrex, you'd have to stay pretty intoxicated not to, you know, lose your fucking mind. But I also see that would just lead to maybe him, like, being murdered or harmed. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, his relationship with... <laughs> it's like a bad 80s movie. His relationship ended with his dad because he did pot. He did the pot. I think he yeah. said the pot. <laughs> I lost my relationship with my dad due to drinking drugs and him wanting to do pot and do all that. So <laughs> wanting to, wanting to do, do pot. pot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. And former Batman, Brian. Pour a lid so we can do some pot. To, go to a drug overdose. Hmm. But yet you find Ed in the garage. Ironic. Yeah. Wait, wait, one second. Former bandmate Brian Hildebrand a few months ago to a drug overdose. Because he'd rather do drugs than have a friendship. Hmm. That's why I stay away from that shit because I've seen firsthand what it does. That's why I don't do heroin. And yeah. I refuse to be a shit. I've been clean my entire fucking life. Except for that one night in Florida. Mm-hmm. 
for all 27 years, around 28 years that I've been alive, I've been clean. I've never smoked, drank, I've never touched any kind of fucking drugs. And what I'm is, why is it so hard for you young cats out there? Like, why is it so fucking difficult to do that? Why is it so difficult for you to fucking stay clean? Just because everybody else is doing it, that means you gotta do it? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Y'all need to stop fucking following these people that are doing this shit and start following my. Excuse me. You're good. Uh, oh, excuse me. You know, start doing. Here we're gonna meet you if there's not going on. Yeah. Your fucking time and effort on bullshit like partying. Because oh. all partying and drinking and smoking and doing drugs is gonna do is end you up six feet under eventually. Hmm. True. I know y'all might not, y'all might not think it's true, but believe me, it is true. I've witnessed that shit firsthand so many times. I have my fucking bandmates from my high school band are either in jail or buried six feet under hmm. from doing drugs. Does that me echoing, Marty? Uh, no, I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, one more quick comment on your stream. Sure. Earlier, I was ashamed that no one knew the answer to the question of which high school Cyrex was from and the mascot. I was very ashamed that no one knew the Garfield Rams. Uh, I was upset about that. Nobody knew the North High Vikings. They didn't know the Vikings? Oh, yeah, wow. Huh, he was wearing a fucking shirt. No fans. No, it was late. You know, they may, the fans may have been asleep. You know. Yeah. Sorry. Keep, sorry. No, you're good. All right. Because like, uh, he'd rather fucking drink and smoke his life away. Hmm. And everybody wonders why I'm so fucking pissed off and why I'm so angry. A lot of the times. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Got away. <laughs> well, like, there's a reason why I'm pissed off a lot of the times. It's because all these fucking people that are out there these days, I think it's fun to live the party life. Uh, yeah. Flash, yeah, right. That party life is going to get you killed. Damn. Yeah. We thought gangs and drugs were going to kill you. The party life will kill you even faster. Isn't drugs the party life? Because the partying is what leads up to the drugs, what leads up to drinking and the smoking, whatever you guys fucking smoke. Is I don't fucking know. Six hours ago. <laughs> and then, like, and don't get me wrong, I have nothing against those who smoke weed. I have nothing against that whatsoever. <laughs> All right, I got I, I got some other titles yeah, here. That, that's just I got some other titles of Facebook videos here. Uh, you can decide which one we watch. There's uh, the truth about we why me and my high school sweetheart Christina are no longer together. Hmm. Um, there's why why my music career is, is failing and rapidly ending. Hmm. Uh, well, I'd be kind of interesting to know that before Music Biz Marty got into the picture, what uh, was bringing Cyrex down. And I'm also curious on why him and uh, this fucking broad separated as well. I don't, I'm kind of curious on why his, he's rapidly, rapidly declining as well. Yeah, I want to know that. Um, what, what was holding him back that back then? Um, there's also, okay, there's also why my friendship brotherhood with Eric Scrublow ended. Ooh. Um, what skills I can offer anyone? <laughs> That'd be good to know. Yeah. Um, I will not be signing with Dorn's Publishing for good reason. Okay. Um, what well, what book he was working on then? The three three nine Lloyd or? Uh, well before, well before. Uh, there's the long six month war is finally over and won. 
<laughs> which I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Yeah, um, who, was he, who was he beefing with? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, there's, there's a couple interesting picks in there, I would say. Definitely the one that's rapidly declining, what skills he has to offer, and maybe the war one would be some pretty good ones, I would say. Okay. All right. All right. Because I definitely am interested in the war, but I'd also like to know what he has to offer with the skills. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Well, I have a feeling it's just going to be music and, and, you know, a, a can do attitude or some bullshit. Uh, Clean the floors really well. Or, yeah, let's see. Let's, let's try that here. One second. Fit uh, underneath the table really well to scrape the bubble gum under from it. Or. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, here, one second. All right, here we go. Well, not just one chance. Um, and there is something I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I've been getting asked this a lot, you know, and that's, you know, why am I not, you know, making any money? You know, doing things that I'm good at. Like, what's the deal? Like, why am I not making any kind of, you know, money? And I know it's early in the morning, but this needs to be talked about. Well, I'll tell you all the reason why. It's because nobody seems to trust how I work. <laughs> See, they hate how I work. People hate the fact that I only accept payments through PayPal, NetSpend, or Facebook payments, which I can also extract through NetSpend. And people always ask, you know, like, what, you know, kind of jobs, like, what kind of stuff can I do? And believe it or not, I can do a lot more than your average person. Because, <laughs> see, I don't have the luxury of working a nine-to-five job because of my living situation. Yeah, my mom works, but just barely. So, so while she's yeah. at work during the day, I have to look out for the house. <laughs> because we have, you have to look out for the house. I don't. I have to look Security out for guard. the old man. He can't really do much. So his so dog is an old man. He can't really do much? Or Ed is? Work during the day, I have to look out for the house. Because we got a dog. I have to look out for him because he's an old man. He can't really do much. The do so he can't work because the dog is an old man. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll <laughs> so I can put it down and get a new one. Yeah, if if if, if this is like, you know, his his big job interview for <laughs> employers, like you're off to a great start. Like, well, I can't work because my dog is an old man. Yeah, it's like why why don't you have any work history, Mister Wilkins, for the past four years? Yeah, my dog, my dog's elderly. I had to you know stick around, bark at fucking people when they came to the door, try and bite the mailman. Like I have to look after the house and be there for people. It's like, oh, is your mom uh, infirm? Like, well, no, she actually works. But uh, so, so basically your dog being old is, is stopping at this point. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've heard a lot of excuses. Yeah. I don't think I've heard that one. Give no. credit. Well, it's certainly unique. Yeah. In doing that, you know, in that. Definitely a friend of bodies. Yeah. I am self taught in a lot of things. You know, I can do more than your average person. Hmm. I can build a website within a couple hours. I would love to see that. I would why doesn't he have one for himself then? You think he'd have multiple to be honest. Right. Promote his music, art, uh, merch. Yeah, I would love to see him set up a, a web I wonder what he's talking about does he mean like a rage on website you know where you sell t-shirts or some shit because I mean, it's probably some really shitty looking point and click no good you know graphics probably wouldn't even work um like you know. angel fire or like, yeah I was, yeah I was just gonna say one of those free website makers yeah exactly you know, angel fire, geo right? world yeah whatever. I can go to the app within a few hours sorry oh my god dude Show me an app for you. I'd love it to. For your stuff. You know, I even have my own custom clothing line. So if you need Schmeckle, I think custom clothing for a good price. Oh, maybe. 
if you need some abstract contextual art for, you know, your computer or whatever, let me know. Yeah. If you need a fucking YouTube intro, hit me up. Yeah, it's definitely on your uh, uh, you need, uh, uh, Yeah, let me leave and come back. If you yeah, need try. A super, super yeah, let me drop out and come back. Right. Or good loop style beat. Uh, let me know. All right. See, I can do a lot more than your average person can. And yet, what do I get every day? I get shit on. Why? Because every time I offer up my skills or my traits on what I can do, you know, they're just like, no, no. Because they want payment. Like they want, they want me to do the job before they pay me. I'm sorry, but that's not how I work. Especially when it comes to my shops. Wait a second here. On what I can do. Yeah. And they're just like, no, no. Yeah. And yet, what do I get every day? I get shit on. Why? Because yeah, they're, 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 every time I offer up my skills or my traits on what I can do. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. If they're going to go again, let me know and I'll put some headphones on. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Like they want, they want me to do the job before they pay me. I'm sorry, but that's not how I work. <laughs> huh. Especially when it comes to my shops. You want to purchase clothing for me and go through me to do your stuff for you? You know, you buy it's just I go through me to do your stuff for you. Is he talking about developing apps and creating websites or? Just making a Rage on t-shirt shop for somebody. I, I saw the other day uh, he was taking pre-orders for his album coming out in March. And anyone dumb enough to fucking pre-order an album as him is just literally throwing their money away. Like, you'll never get that album. It, you know? Like, I don't think I would trust him enough to pre-order something three months in advance and expect it to come out, uh, let alone come out on time, you know? No, there's a distinct lack of people. <laughs> throwing your money away. Yeah. Oh, my business just like a normal shop. You know, you pay me now. I do my job. You see the end result. <laughs> yeah, and and once you're paid, the the buyer has no leverage. Like it's just completely done and over. You can try and maybe fight it, fight the charge. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure Cyrax like would would be more okay. than willing to uh, an understanding of the complaint. I'm not going to sit there and jerk you around. Hmm. Okay? You pay me up front right now to do my job, I'm going to do my job. I'm not going to sit there and dick around about it or half-ass it. Yeah, how, how are your thousand laps coming along, Cyrex? What a move. You know, that's, that's not how I work. You know, when you, when you pay me to do a job, I'm going to do my job the correct way. Like, you know, I mean, seriously, if you want, you know, a professional looking website that's easy to navigate, that, you know, it looks simple. It's easy to navigate. You can go right through, have all your social media linked to it. It's only 30 bucks. Whoa. That's it. All I charge is 30 bucks for a website. That sounds very competitive. Uh, I know Rumor makes websites. I, I wonder how she's able to stay in business when you have people yeah, only yeah. charging 30 bucks for the same delivered product. It's amazing. Undercutter. Yeah, I'd love Sardex to show us some of his websites. I mean, nothing would make me happier. If you have all the links and everything ahead of time, it takes to maybe about, <clears throat> it takes maybe about, I'd say an hour, hour and a half, maybe two at the most. Depending. Rumors, is any or all of this true about Cyrex making websites? Is You can just pop them out like an I, Apple I, I mean, out. you know, to be fair, Marty, I'm sure you probably could. I'm honestly probably sure that you probably could pop out a website in two hours, but the quality of it would probably be dog shit. Yeah. I, I mean, a, a good website would definitely take some time. Um, you know, maybe someone who knows what they're doing could pop a, you know, a fair one out in, in, you know, in that amount of time. But I feel like his would be like, 
you click on something and it probably wouldn't even you know work and you, know, <laughs> you just post your links and put a little background to it uh, you know something like that yeah it would be like it probably wouldn't even have its own domain name it would be like you know angelfire.com forward slash <laughs> geocities.com forward slash well, what you're getting is a website. What's the big deal? For 30 bucks, a free fucking website. Um, the $30 is him uh, putting in the, the tiles and a background to it. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely well worth it, I'm sure. I'm sure lots of companies would uh, love to have. You know, I'm, that's how Amazon started, I'm sure. You know, I'd like to see somebody retain Sired Access Services just to see what he comes up with. Depending on how many links you have and what all you want in. Um, you know, implemented into it, and for now, same price, thirty bucks. Um, you know, because I have to take the time. I have to go in, put the links, everything else, like that, and I can do it for both iPhone and Android. I can do it for Android and iOS. <laughs> super sounds impressive. Super. Well, super I would be willing to get his services, Marty, but all the links I want him to post would be to his porn. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be willing to do that. That'd be the only catch. Uh, the, the website I want just was all the, the links to his porn. Hmm. I think uh, maybe like a few for Skull Kids YouTube channel. I think he'd appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. All of his favorite things. Crazy. There's Keep no on Facebook or anything like that. You're going directly through me. You want a custom shirt? Anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks through Ray John, which is what I run my custom clothing shop through. You want a really cool album cover done? 10 to 20 bucks. Hmm. I wonder what that consists of. Just downloading an image off the internet? Slapping a parental advisory on it. Yeah. Well, easy done. You want a simple loop back style beat? 10 bucks. For a pack of 10 beats. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's a good point. Cheap. Yeah, dollar a beat ain't bad. That's a very good point. Uh, Cyrix is saying that he needs to take program classes. But Yeah, that's right. When his friend gets out of the hospital. Um, I'm not sure if that, as he said, that it was going to be like 13 days. I'm not sure if that 13 days has expired yet. Or maybe that maybe we'll just wait till the new year to ask him about that. I don't know. Where or do you know? think it'll fall through? You know, COVID and... You know, maybe his friend, you know, something happened with her. She's just going to say she got fired from her job, so Cyrex will leave him alone or something. Yeah. Usually pretty standard. But there's a reason why I do simple loop style beats. Because this is a, no, I, it's, it's literally proven, this is a proven fact that 85 to 90% of your artists out there they can rap and spit over the most unique and most intricate beats in the world. But what they have the most trouble with is the simple shit. <laughs> they go back and, you know, work their basics. Hmm. They don't work their basics like they should. So that's why I like to create simple loop style beats to push the artist. You know, I interesting a theory there. Well, I saw an exchange between him and the, I don't know what his involvement was in uh, something called Reborn Records, but they tried to explain to him in an email, um, just taking loops isn't creating anything. Right. Uh, yeah, like it's it's essentially just copying something and replaying it. Yeah, I mean, I would agree, I would agree with that. Yeah. That next level, to keep them on their toes. You know, to make to force them to work their basics. Uh, and actually have the the stream or, or whatever you call it, the Facebook live thing where uh, he's interacting with them and like they try to explain to him like, listen, until you learn how to do any of this stuff, like we can't really work with you. We're not like here to teach people things. We want music to be produced and we want quality work made and you just don't know what you're talking about. Um, and he just really took offense to being called like a charity project. In a way that they've never done before. That's why I do it the way that I do it with beats. Yeah, it's, he's also talking about like skills that I have that nobody else has, and none of this is applicable to anything real right, world. Hell, you want a custom pair of fucking shoes? 
eighty dollars through Ray John. And where else are you gonna find shoes that are custom made, brand new, for eighty bucks? And you'll be the only one in the world to fucking have. Well, um, I'm sure they're high quality. And my reputation for my custom clothing is known world worldwide. You know, I've had people from the UK purchase from me. I've had people from the US. I've had several people from the US and UK purchase from me. Some of them very well. Not necessarily worldwide. You know. No, so, you know, no, that's fair. My standings, you know, are very good as far as my clothing line goes. What like what does that mean? The standings are very good. Yeah, you think? Um, I, I don't know, man. He probably is cocky. He sold maybe like two, three hoodies. Yeah, I have a lot more skills to offer than the average person. So his skill so far is he can make websites. He can't make websites. He he develops apps. He doesn't develop apps. Um, nothing really. Tangible thus far. And not only do I have myself to think about, but I also have my girlfriend and her three kids to think about as well. Whoa. Three kids? Yeah, which one of the bras is he linked up with yeah. now? And uh, well, okay, listen. Hold on. Can you just rewind it back like uh, five seconds? I want to hear what he says. Does he say her kids or our kids? Like, does he claim them? Give me one second. Your average person. To be hers? Or is he actually not being delusional? And and not only do I have myself to think about, but I also have my girlfriend and her three kids to think about. Okay, thank okay. God. He said her three kids. Okay. Good job, Chance. They're not yours. Now, so I do have a family to think about. And I do have skills to offer. Hmm. And hell, if you guys are ever in the Akron area and you know you need some photography done, let me know. Let me take them up on that. You know, 10 to 20 bucks for a photo shoot. We go down. Facebook nudes, photos. do you think you could do? Um, of himself or of other people? Oh, of myself. I'm gonna. I'd love to. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take advantage of his uh, services for twenty bucks for some photos, maybe some tasteful nudes. Draw you like a dungeon. French girl. Uh, you know. Yeah, draw you like a French girl, like the Titanic. Where are we yeah, going? Yeah. Around here in the area. You know, and we can do it. No problem at all. Hell, you need some screen. You need some melodic screen verses. Who needs melodic screen verses, though, Cyrex? Nobody. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about maybe writing a nice, you know, anniversary song or something for Miss Meckle one day. You know, maybe it'd be great to, you know, give her a. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, I think she'd definitely appreciate that. Um, I might be getting divorce papers soon after, I guess. Well, I don't know. Um, it definitely is thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm laughing, but it definitely is. To hire a swooner, a crooner, to uh, belt out a tune for her, I think that would be pretty nice. I don't know what woman wouldn't want it. I mean, no. fucking flowers die about a Cyrex song is forever. Yeah, I, I would say that if a woman doesn't melt for Cyrex solo love song, he's the playboy man. I don't know how he does. He's a playboy though. He's always got different women, and you know he's he's, 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 a, he's a playboy. I'm not gonna deny him that. Yeah, if that doesn't work, then like Cyrex says, I think she's just showing that she's using you as, as your personal fucking ATM machine. Look, Mr. Michael, step up to the fucking mic, or <laughs> what does he say? Step up to the mic, or I don't uh, know. He already has one shot, one kill, sniper code. <laughs> and some, you know, rat bars or whatever. You know, five bucks. That's five like bucks. Reverse. Nothing, you know, too expensive. I don't overcharge because I know what it's like to not have any money. Five bucks for a Cyrex feature. You know, I'm just. I mean, that's average, gotta be. You know, guy trying to one of the most competitive rates in the game. I would say so. He went from thirty dollars. You notice how he started at a website for thirty. His prices just kept dwindling down, and the next thing you know, he's gonna be like, you know what, man? I'll fucking put out a whole album for a dollar because I know how it is. Well, and, yeah. you know, I'll fucking uh, you know come to your house and clean the whole fucking thing for fifty cents. 
Well, he said that he actually, he's making and selling uh, packs of 10 beats. For 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 10 for 10. Yep. Buy, buy one, get one free. So essentially, you're getting 20 beats for 10 bucks. Yeah, they're yours. You can do whatever you want with them. You can get a job doing something that he's good at doing, something that he enjoys. And yeah, what do I get? Shit. What do I get? You know, in return for my skills, I get shit on because nobody either trusts PayPal or NetSpend or Facebook payments. And I'm sorry you guys don't trust that, but you know what? That's how I work. <laughs> See, I'm a business guy. Clearly. Okay? Above all else, I enjoy, you know, doing things as far as business goes. <laughs> I've never purchased anything, drugs, groceries, anything until the product is in my hand first and then you get the fucking money. That's usually the way the fucking deal works, you know? Yeah, I mean, I haven't even thought about like getting a PS5 on, on eBay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and no. I'm just, no, very skeptical of it. No, I've, I I did that with a PS3 and I mean, thank God I got my money back, but no, I wouldn't trust it. You got a busted one? I didn't get one at all. Jesus. Fucking so we gave him like 300 bucks and Yep. Oh, I'd be but so. Again, thank God I got my money back. So, dude, I'd be fucking livid. I was pretty mad, but you know the old lady was like, "Oh, let's see if we can get the money back," and you know, and, yeah. you know, and then I'll let you go. Hey, you know, haywire if we don't get the money back, but you know, it, it worked out. It worked out. That's how I work. You know, you pay me up front, right then and there, either PayPal boy, or boy. Facebook slash Nespen, which, like I said. With Facebook payments, I can take and I can extract the money, you know, through net spend and stuff like that because I do have an account on both. You know, but that's how I work. You know, you pay me up front, right then and there. I do my job and then we're good. Hmm. So like I said, I am a business guy. So like, you know, if you want my skills, you're going to have to do things how, you know, I run. You know, you're not just going to walk up to some random person that, hey, I want you to do this job, have them do the job, and then them not get paid. No, but I do go up to random people all the time and request melodic scream vocals. That's why I demand payments up front. Or I, I shouldn't say demand payments. I should say, you know, that's how... You know, that's why I asked for payments up front. Because I've been ripped off like that in the past. I've had people tell me, oh, you know, like, I'll do this for you once you do this job. And then I do the job. And then what happened? They never fucking paid me. Damn. And that's why I run things the way that I do. Like, you know... I can do a lot more than your average person. A lot more. <laughs> and yeah, what do I get for my skills? No. And my traits? I get nothing but shit on because of how I run things. But you gotta understand, the reason I run things the way that I do is because I have been taken advantage of in the past. I have had people tell me that they will pay me once I'm doing my job. And then, you know, I do my job, and they're happy with it. And then they never once fucking paid me. That's why I do things the way that I do, because I'm sick and tired of motherfuckers taking advantage of me. I have skills to offer. You know, like, I can do a lot more, like I said, the most. Hell, if you want to fucking custom YouTube intro, let me know. I can do that, too. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it'll be kind of hard to do, but I can do lyrics for videos if you wanted to as well. If you need a custom logo or anything like that, you know, like, dude, I can do a lot. I think Jamie actually paid him for one. Shot. He never made it. Yeah, didn't Prison Mike uh, do the same or offer the same? Uh, it seems oh, to be it seems to be I've a similar had my refrain. Art website up for the last few. Yeah, there seem to be a lot of people, a, a long list of victims. Months, which I recently had to take down 
due to the mass amount of you know threats on there i've had people you know bully me on there i've had a lot of bad stuff go on there so i had to take it down because i kept blowing my stuff up and ultimately i ran out of room on my gmail so i had to go in and delete like a lot of stuff it took over so much that i wasn't able to read my important emails that i needed to read <laughs> Which is all these hate emails that I was getting. So I ultimately wound up, you know, deleting and taking down the website because of it. <laughs> wow. I mean, you could just make another website in like an hour. Like, who gives, you know? Yeah, or, right. But, you know, like I said, I'm an honorable guy. Okay. Yeah. My word is my bond. <laughs> when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. It's you a thousand laps. For yeah. a job to do. I'm going to do that job the right way and the best way that I know how to do it to get that job done as efficient and as proficiently as I can do. Okay, I'm one of the best out there. Okay? <laughs> At what? I'm one of the best out there. And yet, what do I get in return? I get shit on because of how I run my business. And how I run things. People, oh, now, sorry. So people don't like the way your business operates. They are free to go elsewhere. It's just kind of how it works, man. I'm sorry, but the way I run things is never going to It's a free market. Well, it's like, I'm sorry if you guys don't trust, you know, PayPal or NetSpend. I'm sorry if you guys don't trust that. But you know what? That's how I do business. That's how I work. I think people don't trust you, Cyrex. Yeah. Uh, yeah, agreed. you can go out there and, you know, hire these high end guys for a high end price. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, and that's all well and good. But would you rather hire somebody that's high end, high price, or high end, affordable price? <laughs> I I affordable price. Nice sell, Cyrex. Prices with high end work. That's how I work. That's how I do. Okay, I can do double the work that your average person can do with half the shit that I spoke about. Yeah, you can go to some guy that's, you know. And sorry, because if you're capable of delivering a product that people will want to pay money for, then you have no problem doing it up front and then delivering it. Because they'll be more than happy to buy it from you. Agreed. Um, you know, gone to college and got a for it and shit like that. But let me tell you something. Half those guys that went to college for that shit, half of them don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Wait, who? For and what? Chill. Yeah, you can go to business. Guys, you know, you know, gone to college and got his degree for it and shit like that. But let me tell you something. Half those guys that went to college for that shit, half of them don't even know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> but me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, everything I am, I am able to do, I have done on my own with no help. I am self-taught in every fucking thing that I know how to do. Everything from website building, app creating. If he made the little harness for himself, maybe he can consider starting a business that does that. Um, if of course, he said, he, he, what was that? Oh, I'm sorry, I was gonna say, if you made the harness for himself, he, he needs to put Sally's seat back to back because that bitch is gonna get in an accident and fucking die. So, true, so she's gotten them in them before. You know, I'm cover art, I'm self taught in photography, you know, music instrumentals, video editing, videos, YouTube intros. I'm self-taught in everything that I do, and I have gained a very good reputation, especially with... I don't know why he doesn't say that he is an exceptional dancer, because that is his best talent. I don't know why he doesn't add that in there. Um, even somewhat of a swordsman as well, when he was waving the stick around. I don't know what you call that, a swordsman or a, uh, a fucking, uh, you know... A yeah, I don't know. Business master. Um I really don't But know. I would agree with the dancing, Marty. hundred Like, seriously, 100%. I don't know why he doesn't ever acknowledge that or even go back to it. I think he's, he might still have it. Yeah, he's pretty good. I would agree. It's a custom clothing line. 
So like I said, I've had people purchase from me in the past. I've had several people from the UK, which are very big, you know, music brand names over there in the UK. You know, I had this guy, um, fucking, um, <clears throat> Sam Watkins, who actually works for a major gaming company over there, purchased some of my clothing items. I've had a couple of friends that are music artists, you know, do some custom clothing for them. I've had people here in the U.S. that have bought, you know, some of my stuff from my YouTube channels and just custom designs that they wanted on stuff. I mean, where else are you going to find a brand new pair of you, very unique and one of a kind, <clears throat> custom high top or low top shoes for 80 bucks? Anywhere else in the world, you're going to find that for like 100, 200 bucks. Now, would you rather pay 200, 300 dollars for a custom pair of shoes, or would you rather pay the 80 bucks through me and go through my shop on Rage On? But Cyrex, anyone can go to Raydron and make their own designs and just buy it from themselves. I mean, I really don't know that this is a skill here or something that you provide to the table. You get a brand new one of a kind pair of shoes that nobody else in the world has for 80 bucks. <clears throat> Think about that. Yeah, yes, there is, Blinda. I do high end, low price. That's how I work. Hell, you want a custom pair of, you know, team shoes for 80 bucks? Like, you know, like, you know, like, let's say, you know, you're a Seahawks fan or a Steelers fan and, you know, you want, you know, something custom done, you know, and you can't find that custom design. I can do that shit. So wait a second. Wait a second. So now he's planning on licensing NFL teams and NFL franchises. And just cutting out the middleman <laughs> and, and providing the products. Like, like, what would like the custom design be? Like, would he take like a, 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 a like a uh, a Raiders logo and maybe I don't know, put like an extra hair on the beard or something? You know, put a little, you know, like draw a little, you know, and more to the mustache or something to it. Like, how would he make it custom? Just add like a, a line or something to it, and boom, there's a custom logo. Well, you know, and I'm not sure like how they got away with it, but uh. Like in certain like head shops, they would have like, you know, like weed pipes with like the local teams on them, right? Um, you know, which I don't think like they would necessarily approve of. Um, I would easily pay a hundred dollars plus for a hoodie with a Raiders logo with the Cyrax head as the pirate. <laughs> well, let them know, man. Uh, he'll, he'll make it. <laughs> no like he's got the and crossbones cap already. We just need to throw an eye patch on him, <laughs> and then put some skull and crossbones uh, in your fucking set. I would easily pay a hundred dollars <laughs> for a black two X hoodie, Cyrex. If you're out there watching, let me know. Uh, we can wipe the bet out. I'll even give you the cash and wipe the fucking bet out if you can make that happen, sir. Thank you. Dude, he's gonna do it. He, I bet he's gonna do it. I will gladly pay the hundred. I would pay probably up to a hundred bucks, probably no more, not much more than that. But someone can make the fucking Raiders Cyrax hoodie have, and I would, I would gladly get one. I'll okay. pay the money. Let's see if he if he has the initiative and. and the I want to know if he's that. getting that stimulus, Marty. I want to know if he's getting that stimuli. I don't think he is. Uh, he didn't get. How, the how does he not? Isn't it like for all of like adult American? Like how do? How, what do you qual? What qualifies you for it? Like what? What I think, think it's making less than seventy five grand in documented income. So you have to have a documented income. That's probably is that where he's failing? Is that is because um, he's he does make less than seventy five grand. I'm sure we can confirm. He makes less than seventy five dollars a year. I mean, we yeah. can confirm that. <laughs> um, Let alone seventy five cents. Um, yeah, I don't know, but he 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 may have just like. I don't. I don't know. Like he uh, maybe he just doesn't have like a bank account or something. Or I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I don't they know. Would it, they would send it to the house at that. I mean, I would imagine. Well, you uh, know what? You know what it probably is. He's probably never filed an, an income with the yeah. IRS at any point in his life. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I've I've heard of people. I don't. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess like homeless people wouldn't get like a stimulus, right? If you were homeless or something like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how all that works, but I, I just can't imagine. I mean, like he's a household, he's a dependent. I'm sure that Sally's got to claim him. I don't know if she does taxes or not, but someone's got to claim him in that house, you know. Yeah, I know that. She, I mean, if they don't, I would love to. I'd I'd love to claim him. I mean, I'll put him. I'll claim him on my taxes. Huh? He makes pipes. She right. Yeah. That would be a great scam. Like, I mean, okay, no, don't let me say that. We're talking about taxes, guys. Just kidding. Would never do anything. But to have Cyrax pay him, I believe you get about twelve hundred. So to give him like a cut of like six or four, and uh, but do you think he'd be willing to give me a social security number to file the taxes on him? Is a huge fucking uh, question, you know? Um, he usually is pretty good at picking up on these things. Like I remember. I've tried to obtain his signature multiple times on a blank white piece of paper in the bottom left-hand corner with a date on the opposite side, but he always smartens up. Well, I don't know why he doesn't like let a friend or family member claim him if he's not already being claimed as a dependent. Like, there's an easy fucking you know five six hundred bucks for him right there. Yeah, you can get twelve for it. You just you know split it with him. I'm sure he'd be happy with like a hundred bucks. I'm sure he'd be very grateful for you. How long do you think it would last him? The money, the hundred bucks. Oh, no, I'm saying, I'm saying like like six hundred. Six hundred. Mm, he would easily have that spent up, probably less. I, I, you know what? I'd say he'd spend the majority of it, less than you know, about a month. Maybe hold on to a little bit of it, but in in the long run, I'd say probably probably about six weeks at the most. Maybe two months tops, eight weeks tops. I mean, that's pretty impressive to me. Um, I mean, he doesn't do, you know, like he said, he doesn't smoke, do drugs, party, but I just do believe he'd piss it away on, like, racing gear, and, uh, you know, he's on this racing kick now, so I just imagine he'd piss it away on, like, you know, fucking just racing sh- racing stuff. I don't know. What do you think the biggest purchase he'd make with it would be? Mm, probably get one of those steering uh, chairs that rumbles or that uh, a race car. <laughs> I'd want him to get a race car battery, just maybe one of those chairs, a gaming <laughs> chair, rumbles, you know, like make him feel like he's really driving. That would be pretty cool, and you know, I think like Ed could even do that. <laughs> like, like, whenever he, he spills and wipes out, Ed would just give the chance. Right, right. Like, Sally'd be sitting at like Chance. I want a massage. Keep yeah, trying. Oh, man. I would kill to see that. Uh, to have Ed go down there and knock him off his chair every time he he wipes out. Pretty <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe that's why uh, they got him the harness. You know, they're going to start doing it old school. Uh, yeah, yeah. Style. Let's knock this shit out of them instead of yelling. Maybe it'll only get through to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a certain Snow Queen. I wish I could do that too sometimes. Just, you know, knock, you know, just I shake a little sense into her. I would never hit her. And just shake a little bit of fucking sense into her. But I don't think it would help. Yeah, we got our first snow a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, you can thank her for that. Um Got a little okay. bit here yesterday, but it like basically melted today. So, so what what has she been up to? Um, uh, her channel's been growing, and she's been getting promoted. So her channel's actually growing. She's actually holding like twenty to forty some viewers now. But um, you know, it's just the same shit. She's just up to the same shit. Uh, you know, um, she's got these elf ears she wears. It's great. Uh, she wears these fucking huge elf ears now. She glues them to her head. Um, it's it's pretty good to watch her with the elf ears, but yeah, as, um, you know, she's basically bitching and moaning as usual, uh, talking about the stimulus check. You know, she's oh, keeping man. up on the stimulus check. Uh, yeah, I'm not she's on it. so laser focused on it. Um, but yeah, um, you know, you know, the same old, you know, same old Michelle. Yeah, that's that's good and bad, I guess. Yeah, for sure, I agree. You know. But she keeps getting, uh, you know, what they're doing to her now is, you know, she's been wanting a thousand subs for a while. So they'll get a thousand subs and then they'll fucking just unsub and take her down <laughs> like five. And then they'll call in and be like, Michelle, you're under, you're under fucking a thousand again. <laughs> just start oh, laughing. So, the box yeah. is too flexed with that. Yeah, they're playing that game with her right now. So she's being a good sport about it, though. She's taking all that in stretch. She's just making some bad choices with her channel. And you know what, man? I really. I'm a huge Michelle supporter. I love, uh, you know, I love Michelle. I'd love, you know, I'd love to see her channel grow, but sometimes you can't get through to her and you just got to like sit back and watch the fire, you know, and if it gets too big, you know, help put it out. But, you know, you can only do so much and try, you know, it's just like suplex Marty. You remember how we would just try 
so hard and drive shit into him. We'd sit there and talk to him for hours on end. And then literally the next day, it's like he didn't even have the conversation. You remember how frustrating that was? Yeah, literally the next hour. Imagine, yeah, okay, very good. Imagine doing that for years on end, a couple years on end, man. I mean, just gets oh, very man. tiresome. I definitely know I'm not going to give up on Michelle, but you just got to kind of take a break sometimes and, you know, let things fall into place, and, you know, do what they will. So that's where I'm at right now with her. Um, you know, Michelle, our channel's, channel's growing, and I think it's awesome, but, you know, it's, it's I don't know. You remember a woman I've, named Jessica? Do I know a woman named Jessica? Oh, does oh, she? Yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Um, remember, dude, you're echoing again. Can you uh, bounce back? And then, I don't know why it's. Oh, I'm echoing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, no you. problem. Thank you. Thank you for following yeah, me. No problem. One sec. All right. Greetings. Uh, Let's try that again. Is that better? It is. Okay. Um, so yeah, I saw like on this. Do you know uh, way down below? Oh, of course, definitely, definitely. Yeah, who is this Jessica woman that used to go over there? So this Jessica woman, she was a vagrant from the soup kitchen. Michelle would frequent the soup kitchen every day to you know go get a meal, and she would just talk with you know the people there, and she was one of the people from the soup kitchen, and. Uh, one day, the, the, she would help Michelle with the calls and shit. She was a real fun lady. But one day, she just came over there and was just nonstop laughing. And, like, I, like we kicked her. Like, we would encourage Michelle to kick her out of her apartment at the time, which probably wasn't the best idea for the show. But, like, the lady was just acting really weird. And Michelle was, like, getting freaked out and shit because, you know, she had people say, you know, she's not acting right. Um, Yeah. Um, she's, just, she's just a vagrant. She has a guy she knows named... Homeless Mike, she calls him. Oh she's my like, god! I've she's seen let him that. stay in her apartment multiple times, and one time he like got loud with her, and it looked like you know he was gonna hit her, and like we were like you know getting ready to call the authorities. You know, it was getting that bad, and like she'll she'll just take him in sometimes for a place to sleep, and you know. Yeah, um, I, I I've seen all this. I I didn't know where homeless Mike came from. Yeah, I believe you know she met him at the soup kitchen as well. She was frequent, with, you know, frequenting the soup kitchen. Like I said, she'd go like every day, um, whenever it was open, and you know, go and have a meal and just go talk with people and stuff. So she's met a lot of people there. Uh, she's sure. had a lot of people. Like her, some of her old shows are so great. Like she's had this lady named Sherry on there, and her uh, like her husband Jesse, and like she's had some really good shows from back in the day. Um, like before I even came along, I've like you know went back and watched some of her older stuff, and she's got some, she's got some gems. She's definitely got some. I watch actually way down below his channel has got some pretty good videos on it for sure. Um, if you want some great Michelle, uh, I believe he has a little bit of everything on there. I haven't looked too far into it, but yeah, the way down below like stuff on there. Um, yeah, yeah, he's got some good stuff. FC Forever Conscious in the chat. He does. Um, he doesn't do youtube shit like cyrex and stuff but he's got some amazing videos that a lot of people need to go check out open up their uh, eyes and minds too guys so check out forever conscious definitely check out way down below music biz marty you're here throw those likes guys um i'm you know I'm, I'm just being a youtube piece of shit but throw the likes up uh subscribe uh suck his cock you know all that good stuff yeah, like mm -hmm. share and subscribe yeah there you go there you go like share and subscribe guys but uh, yeah, uh, Michelle. Uh, yeah, so uh, she's you know befriended some vagrants and had them over. She had this kid Daniel over. He was like a gamer, and uh, he was like seventeen years old. And we were like you know telling right. her, like, Michelle, you probably shouldn't be talking to him. And it, like his intentions, I don't know what his intentions were. And um, yeah. you know, like, he was like a younger kid. We're like you gotta get her away. I believe she said little boys like to talk too. And as long as they are civil, decent, kind, and gentle, and respectful, they can talk to me. Gentle. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that popped out, you know, gentle. Uh, but, you know, we, we had to kind of warn her about Daniel. And she's gotten in trouble back in the day for hacking and stuff. She had, like, the FBI. Oh. And, like, she had to go to court and stuff. It was it's just got a very interesting uh, past. She's killed somebody. 
She killed someone from the soup kitchen with black ice. You know how she's a snow queen, and she put black ice down, and she fucking made somebody fall and smash their head and oh die. Um, you know, soup kitchen Pete, yeah. Um, so she's got blood on her hands. She's a very interesting woman. And she had was on bad terms with this person? Um, I believe so, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and she fell last year on some ice and smashed her knee, and she said, oh, that's karma for killing Soup Kitchen uh, Pete. I'm like, yeah. I guess <laughs> it would be. Wow. Um, Very interesting past. Like I'm saying, like, you know, you guys see her from the outside, and maybe you'll look at her and be like, okay, weird broad, but, you know, you lose interest. I get that 100%, but, like, once you dig into her and talk with her, like, she's uh, – Definitely got it. Definitely got some funny stories. Um, like, uh, yeah, I need to keep up some uh, homeless mic here. Uh, yeah, for sure. yeah, like when when people were calling him and it got pretty volatile. Oh yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, classic. Yes, yeah. I may have been uh, one of those callers, Marty. I'm not sure. I hope not, but I yeah. may have been. I used to. I think so, this is it. Yeah, I do you remember this show? Do I call you on the air? Yeah, Mike. Hello. Mike, this is T-Man, dog. Uh... Pete from the soup kitchen. No, T-Man. Pete, yeah, that's his comment. I know who I is. Look at how he shut up real quick. What up, ghost? I'm going to need my $20 back, ghost. <laughs> So, well, you know who the fuck this is. This is motherfucking T-Bear, motherfucker. And you've been dodging me. You owe me 20 bucks, motherfucker. You funded that stack of OG for me last week. I think there's a better one. I think there's a better one with Mike where he got extremely volatile. Yeah, I don't think this is it. This is a bit more recent. I believe, but yeah, there's one where he gets like super fucking pissed, dude. Like I said, I was considering myself fucking calling the authorities over there, um, like on some real shit. Like, uh, like, like he was getting ready yeah. to fucking hit her. Way down below might be able to help you uh, with that one. Yeah, I'm looking here. Um, does it have anything to do with them asking Mike if he's been in a relationship with a hermaphrodite? <laughs> um, I'm not sure what set him off to be uh, 100%, Marty. I'm not sure what set him off that day, but I definitely remember he, he was very upset. Oh. I'm not sure what set him off. But if it's like, if you see it's like this format like this, I don't think, like with the chat on the screen like that, I'm not sure if she was doing that at the time, putting the chat up like that. I don't remember, man. I've been watching this broad for so fucking long, I can't. I'm pretty sure, though... <laughs> Yeah, here, um, she's got some gems. Yeah, it's it's a real gamble uh, taking these vagrants in, you know. Um, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, and taking phone calls, you know, like you know, that's she's brave for that. Yeah, she's got a pretty nice setup. Like, uh, oh yeah, I got a call from one of those. Uh, um, she does actually have a pretty nice setup. Where is it at? I have a sound clip I use a lot. Uh, I actually have a piece from that show where homeless Mike was absolutely just pissed the fuck off. Hold on, wait, where is it? I actually have a fucking clip of that. Uh, here it is. One of the callers. Whoa. Who the fuck is Mike? I think he's in my bedroom listening to my other computer. He's fucking stealing your money, you stupid bitch. <laughs> like she was, he was in the other room. She like just lets him roam around her apartment and shit while she's doing the show. So yeah, then, yeah that's what the call I was saying. He's like, "Who the fuck is Mike?" And she, he thought he said, "Where is Mike?" I yeah. mean, she's definitely a lot more trusting than I would be. I wouldn't be able to focus on like a fucking. Oh man, I, dude. Person wandering around. Marty, dude, in the fucking summertime. In the fucking summertime, she'll leave her front door open and like her side door open for the cats and shit to just roam through, like go in and out. Like she'll leave her fucking apartment door just open. Like that I would drive, like I never leave, like walk in my house without locking my door, you know? Like someone will be coming in maybe a minute after me and they'll be like, dude, why the fuck did you lock me out? I'm such so, a fucking habit. I'm sorry, you know? Yeah. Um, definitely would seem like a tremendous target. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. 
I can just imagine being her like neighbor or something, just hearing her talking to herself and thinking, "Oh, that's, I only saw one person there, but I clearly hear two. Um, banging out her fucking wall like the first week, and then just realize it's not going to help, and just give up. Like, I would love to be There's Michelle. Her- yeah, I'm just looking for the one, and Mike's just like stomping around, right? Like he's like, curious. Um. Fuck, I don't know where it is. It's terrible. Yeah, I'd have to. Um, yeah, I'd have to dig it up. I haven't got to experience uh, way down below's channel too much yet. I just found it like the other day. He was posting stuff, mm-hmm. so I was gonna go through there and get like grab some good clips. So I haven't really. Uh, I'm sure I'll come across it though. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Uh, I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, I'm just looking for a new. Uh, so, okay, you don't remember which other chance videos you wanted to hear, did you? Um, let's see oh, wow. the the one about what's holding him back. Um, we did the skills one. The war, the war has ended. The six month war has ended. All right, let's go with it. Um, here, one second. Who is he warring with? Yeah, that's a, a great question. Um, for six months, it seems like a long time. Although, I guess him and I have been fighting for six years, so. Here, I'm going to see if I can find the video with Homeless Mike. Who's he talking to? I'm not sure. <laughs> What's up, guys? You already know who it is. Yeah. What's goody? I have some amazing, amazing news for you guys. Like, I'm literally like in almost tears of happiness right now. Like, it's like, those aren't my preferred tears for this guy. It is so insane, guys. Like, you guys have no idea, like, how big of a victory this is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to do something really quick, and I will come right back, and I will explain everything to you guys. I mean, everything. Give me just a moment to help put things away real quick, and I'll be right back to explain what's going on. I remember when he used to have to do chores. I haven't seen him do chores and stuff like that in a while. No. No, it's true. Give me one minute. I remember many videos upstairs, like you'd open a door and Sally would be out there, and he'd have to go to move, like help Ed move something. Or Yeah, uh, it seemed more so in the summer, too. Like, it was warmer. Um, he doesn't seem to fuck around the snow a whole lot. Not after fucking slipping last year, Marty. No. Can't take any chances. You see any of the Harboring a Fugitive video? I don't believe so. Oof. Um, it was Harboring one. Well, this is actually a pretty interesting... I'm going to have to... Um, fuck it. I'm going to have to replay this. Um, uh... Here, one second. Open another tab. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in here. Here, one second. Um, Harboring a fugitive. What up, y'all? I want you to watch it. I wanted to talk about something here. And this is something I... But I have a friend named Bucky Jones who is... On the line. From what it sounds like, he Sarah X was romantically interested in this woman who was romantically interested in a guy who broke the law at some point, and Sarah X is trying to turn him in, hmm. uh, to remove him from the equation. Um, here, give me give me one moment, too. I'm going to be back in like five minutes. Uh, yes, yes. Good time. 
topics. And the reason I this out is through my now ex-friend, Ashley Armstrong, who, by the way, thinks that her knowing the info that she knows is not harboring a fugitive. And she said, they're saying, I'm a snitch. No, I'm not a snitch. I'm trying to do the right thing and bring down a fucking criminal that needs to stop. How is that being a snitch? This guy has been on the run for eight years. Eight fucking years this guy has been on the run. And Ashley, you knowing what you know about Bucky, it don't matter whether you were there or not. You don't have to be there to be harboring a fugitive. You are withholding info. You are aiding and abetting a fugitive that's on the run, knowing what you know. And you don't need to get involved with that. So you can think I'm a snitch all you want. You can fucking hate my guts. I don't give a fuck. But you doing what you're doing is a crime. Ask any officer. They will tell you the exact same thing. You don't need to get involved with that. You need to turn his ass in. You might not know exactly where he's at, but he leaked out info knowing that, you know, somebody would say something. And you can think that people treat me like shit because I'm a snitch. You got it all fucking twisted, bitch. It ain't me for that. It's because of my physical appearance and how I fucking am. It's not because of that. It's because of my shit. Don't fucking sit there and say that it's because of that because it ain't. You got a fucking twisted sister. <laughs> twisted sister. Right away, if you were any kind of family, you wouldn't be harboring this guy. You would be saying, oh, yeah, this is the video right here. Right. And turn yourself in. But no, you want to sit there and call me a snitch? Because really? <laughs> snitch. Oh, here we go. We gotta post this for money. Right, here we go. Right, yeah. the right thing is turning this guy in. Which you can run all you like to, because guess what? I have both your Facebook and his, and both y'all's pictures. That's a good one. <laughs> So don't sit there and think that you can get away with this. Because what you're harboring and aiding and abetting. Knowing where this guy is, you are aiding and abetting a fugitive. And that's not okay. If you were any kind of fool, you wouldn't be sitting here doing this. You would be turning him in. You can say I'm a snitch all you want. You can run your mouth about me all you like. I don't give a fuck. But you know what? I'm not a snitch. I'm not. When you say I'm a snitch, that makes it sound like the jugglers are a gang. And they're not a gang. They're a family of underground people who enjoy the same kind of music. It's people like you that give the juggler a bad name. Because you treat them like a gang. It's not a gang. Uh, there are a group of underground music loving people who enjoy bands like ICP, Twisted, AB, <laughs> Tech 9, Thompson. <laughs> you are no juggler. You are in thing. Oh, it's fucking You're gold. It's like a gang, and it's not like that. Oh, it's fucking it's gold. We're going to put that one in the chat, too. Because <laughs> you know what? Oh, God. Yeah, that's Real so family member from the drug was and turn that person in. Um. That's what they would have done. I'm sorry, but I don't aid and embed criminals. That's not me. I do the right thing. Yeah, he might have a lawyer, but that don't mean shit. He's been on the run for eight years. <laughs> and they will catch him eventually. Eventually, they will find him. And when they do, he will go to jail. And if they find out that you knew 
any kind of info, they take you to the jail too. And like I told you, you don't need that shit. You don't need to be doing the shit. You're aiding and abetting a criminal. And that's not okay. At all. Like I said, you can hate me all you want. You can talk shit all you want. But the point is, you are aiding and abetting a criminal. <laughs> I do not yeah, steer clear, steer clear of Bucky Jones and Angel Arm. Oh, Marty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just looking at this Michelle doll. I posted two links in the chat. The second link I posted is the first time Jessica was at her house, and like the first phone call on that fucking video is great. And then the second time is the time that Jessica uh, like got kicked out for like, fucking crazy. Jessica. Yeah, I've seen the first half of this Jessica video, and I was like wondering who she was. Like, well, the first, the second video I posted will kind of introduce her a little bit. Okay. All right, here one second. But you'll see if you can recognize the voice on the uh, on the phone call on the on the first sure. phone call there. Well, my suspects are either you, People mm-hmm. of Peace, or uh, Hooch Pandersnitch. All the wrong strike yeah. three. You seem to have the good it takes, and that's what I need. All strikes. I can, I can try it out for a little bit. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, so I cannot. I'm supposed to travel down south to see my kids that I haven't seen in a year. Well, I mean, you talk about I'll be visiting back. somebody? You were talking yeah. about moving away somewhere. No, I'm visiting for a little bit, and then I'll be back. Oh, that's different. Because, I mean, if it's visiting, I mean, I can You can pick the voice out. Go ahead, Clay, in the air. I think you got another homeless individual in your house, Michelle. Uh, John Hammond? <laughs> there you go. Good call. Oh, homeless. What? Homeless. I got, you got another homeless and need person in your house, Michelle. <laughs> you sound like fucking what's his face. <laughs> well, you know what? You need to take that spray bottle on that table right beside you, turn it sideways, pull your panties down. And fuck Jessica might actually be helping me out with the show, <laughs> but she just means she slips. She's got her own house for her own, for her own family. She sounds like fucking Jenna Jameson when she took too many blood cocks on her throat. Uh, Why is it always with you welfare people that you <laughs> more, more, more? Why don't you just be happy with what the government's oh, giving to you? Oh, they gave me so much. I mean, that's shit, you fucking idiot. Well, who fucking from, cares what they gave you? You don't deserve shit. I'd rather give it to Michelle than your fucking dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burn a toast in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wired on some shit from the corner, aren't you, bitch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Hey, who fucking cut that hair of yours? It looks like you fucking stuck your head under the lawnmower and fucking <laughs> did it a time or two. That's a good thing. I'm going to answer some of the things that people said chat real quick. Yeah, this was, this was doomed from the start. One of the things that people have said is... Hey, what happened to that horse face looking girl that was on here just a second ago? Just hold on a minute. They said to me is... <laughs> You need a co-host because you're boring this to tears. Okay? Now, like I said to Jessica, and she said she wants to go see kids, that's fine. Is I can use her help if she is still available to do the work. It would be good for the show. Hey, what's the girl sitting at the table's name? Yeah, that's Jessica. Jessica, uh, Michelle has $5,000 on her mattress. Don't- can I ask how uh, Rachel got that picture in the first place? Uh, Michelle gave it to her, and she leaked it out like a fucking piece of shit, dude. And then and Michelle trusts this lady, dude. Is is the fucked up thing, Marty? So this lady's done nothing but like fuck with her, put shit in her head, but yet she continues to listen to her and fucking, you know, it's just it's just really sad, you know. You you I don't know how many times you can let someone burn you and fuck you over before what, something like sinks in that they're, they're, they're. Yeah, what was the premise? Like what led up to it? You know, well, I'm not. Well, uh, you, you know, Michelle, she's a hermaphrodite, and well, I guess. That's, but she's not, though. What do you mean? She's well, not. okay, she's a self-proclaimed hermaphrodite. Okay, she claims to be so. It's, uh, Rachella was in the uh, medical industry, so I guess 
uh, Michelle felt comfortable sending her pictures or something. I, I guess along those lines. Um, but it's just like a, a small shriveled up sack and a micro penis. Yeah, but doesn't she have a vagina as well? No. Well, I believe she said her vagina was sewed up or something. I'm not sure. Have you seen the picture? Um, I haven't. I have, but I haven't looked at it in detail, Marty. It's really something I can't have in my mind while I'm fucking talking to the broad. It kind of ruins the aesthetic and the relationship for me. Um, and and like, like the genitals were only the second most disturbing. Like that inner thigh pimple uh, was even worse. Um, but yeah, I, I understand where it comes from. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He just told her that Michelle has five thousand dollars under her mattress. Yeah, that she's put away from every check for the last ten years or so. Oh, good. So, uh, don't oh, don't steal it from her, okay? Because the last homeless guy named Mike that came up in there, and he fucking almost tried to beat her and steal yeah, money. Yeah, he went postal. Yeah, homeless Mike. Yeah, he went. He went insane. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, she like the callers just riled them up to such a degree. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the video. You know what? Mom used to bump cigarettes off people. He used to grab them out of the uh, ashtray. Cigarettes. That's good. So that's, that's, that's not my problem, and I don't really need to know all that. Jessica, listen, 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 listen. Money she has hitting in their walls and under her mattress and couch and shit. That could be your donation contribution for your new presidential campaign. <laughs> Well, that would be awesome. I would like that. So, uh, Michelle, bring some of that money out, okay? Let's see. So, I guess we'll again. Uh, talk about how uh, Margie, Maggie, bring off again. So, like I said, just go in a room and just take whatever you want. Because <laughs> you won't probably fucking even notice. Now <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. you know why I love the guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing separating the fee right now, so let me. I think she's got silver and gold in there too, some jewelry that she can probably take. Oh, good, thank you. Uh, I think I needed to know all that. Just like, tell her, Michelle. Just tell her what you got in there. Oh, man. She would too. Let's see. Oh, I got the backwards so man. Jessica, I want to be in the main screen. Me, I'm gonna be on the side screen. I'm sorry. And the phone number, obviously. So, was it sitting in the yeah, cell? Yeah, she does a show every fucking night at 7 p.m. Yeah, Call her up. Jessica, are you spending the night tonight? Okay. So, <laughs> no, I'm going back to my friend Jen's house. I'm not even going to say what she's doing. She's still her shit totally, so she doesn't notice. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Just don't take her computer and her microphones and shit so she can keep doing shows. She won't get mad. Uh, I stole my screen. Okay, I stole on camera. Oh, what happened to that horse face girl that was in the center of the screen earlier? Just give me a second here while I edit this stupid camera shot. Was oh, so that like a green screen behind them? Um, yeah, well, it's like a makeshift one. Um, yeah, does Michelle ever use it? Uh, you know, she doesn't. She wants to get a new one. And I'm encouraging her, you know, her too. Like, Watching her in the middle of like a bull stampede or something would be great, or you know. Oh man, that would be pretty cool. Put her in Suplex City's fucking house. Um, oh man, I, 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 it's times like those that I do miss Suplex, but yeah. he was only at his best when he was getting upset. Um. Yeah, and it's not cool. You're good to rile him up all the time, you know. No, no, and, you know when he's not angry, he's just useless though. Yeah, I would agree. He used to be a sweet kid. It, 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 I, I, he really thought he became famous, in my opinion. It just got to him. It's mind blowing. It's like I'm covering Jessica's face. I don't think she likes that too much. <laughs> the, hey, what kind of fucking drink is that McDonald's cup? Yeah, it's better. Oh, now it's empty. It was ginger ale. Hey, how big are your? I don't think uh, McDonald's has ginger ale. I don't think so either. Um, then you're <laughs> Looks like a fucking A minus at least. Yep, because I got uh, two shirts on and I wear tank tops to fuck my keep myself. I know a dude that's got bigger tits than you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not my problem. That's his. God made you that way, all right? Yep. Just so you believe in God now? 
<laughs> we won't go there. We don't want to go to Taco Bell. Once you drop to your knees and pray to God that he fucking grows your hair back, <laughs> you're like a stupid bitch. Oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. <laughs> Just don't steal all of Michelle's money. I still don't get why anybody would say I was married and I shouldn't get Jessica's phone number. I didn't even yes, ask, sir. Her yes, sir. ask her for I don't have a phone number yet. When did you get out of the prison? See if I can track this video down. I really want to see it now, too. Are you still on probation? About the homeless Mike one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The important thing is, Jessica, this is very important. You need to keep it together. <laughs> Look at her mom. Yeah. Yeah. You in your house, Marnie? <laughs> like expecting her to like comply with. She looks like know. one of those videos, like women that chosen one, like interviews. Oh man, over in the fucking ghetto. Uh, I think she's even a little too rugged for chosen one. Maybe, maybe. But dude, she was Be fucking cool. wigging out. I'm trying to keep this show from turning into a total clusterfuck. Yeah, and Jessica doesn't give a shit. And so what I need you to do is, I know you, you ain't out of your meds, but you got to try to keep it together, and you got to go get your refills. And oh, yeah, I gotta go get my Otherwise, I might have to seriously send you home, because I cannot. It's bad enough when I'm trying to do a show by myself, and the phone calls. And I don't have time to be, you know, to watch out for you doing anything silly. <laughs> I'm warning you one time. <laughs> you need to either chill or you're going to have to go home. Yeah, Michelle gets mad at her. Okay. Pretty good. I have to try to behave. Well, I mean, I'm and sure I'm... the chat was saying, like, Michelle, are you going to put up with this insulin? <laughs> I, I got in there, yeah. Yeah. Like, clearly Jessica isn't taking this seriously. Clearly, Jessica thinks you're a joke. You know, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some dynamics to play. It's the first phone call. Good God. Okay, go ahead, call your oh, you know, We can't show it. Yeah, oh, is that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking to myself, I'm so sorry, Marty. You're good. I, I got a video I'd love for you to watch, but I'm not sure if it would be in your best interest to play it. Um, yeah, just go ahead. I'm going to have a conversation and see if I can get this cleared. Um, but oh, yeah, okay. keep, keep playing it. Keep playing. Okay, um, right. Hey, is this a shop and talk? Uh, it's a what? A shop and talk. Yes, how can I help you today, sir? Uh, what would you like to uh, bid on? How much is that fine looking boy you got there? Uh, the, 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 oh. the one with the. Uh, yes, how much is <laughs> that fine looking boy with the glasses? God damn it, that's a good looking boy. Uh, that's not well, a guy. It's a. a... Off our... that, that's not a boy? That woman with the mohawk is a woman. That's not a guy. Yes, his name is. His name is. There's a woman with a mohawk. God, this is a train wreck. You got, you got any chicken? Um, All right, I'll buy chicken if you ain't got no boys. No. Um, yeah, what is this? Like, why would it not be my interest in hey, So, Marty, I remember we made her play the video. Um, I'm going to send it to you. You can review and see if you want to play this. Yeah, I just, I just got it. Um, yeah, I'm going to send this to you. Um, we made her play it. Oh, well, I didn't make her play, but someone asked her to play a link, and it's just a video of a guy blowing his brains out. And she's like, what's this video about? And then we're like, it's about gun safety or something like that. And she's like, let me play it again. And she's just, like, running it twice during her live show and just does like nothing right, about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send that over there. What, what, what was this guy's name again? Uh, Bud something? Uh, the guy yeah. from... <laughs> um, Bud Dwyer, right? Bud Dwyer, yeah. Excuse me. You're good. Um, Bud Dwyer, yeah. You can review it, and if you, if you want to decide, you want to play that on your screen. Um, hmm. I can see. Oh, All right. This video, I... There is no music on it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jessica. Yes, sir. Is that the one that uh, I'm surprised that Michelle hasn't seen this. Well, she lived through it. This is her fucking stream. 
This is her live stream. This is during one of her live. I can't even hear this person. He hasn't gotten in front of a mic. I have the volume all the way up. I cannot hear this person. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It might take a second. He's talking about a can gun. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gun. Finally. I have it all the way up. <laughs> Yeah, this is clipped from her stream. This is what she was saying. Was like, this is what she was showing. Okay. This is as loud as I can get it, guys. <laughs> There's no captions on it. I like that it has the studio line underneath, too. Yep, yep, yep. You guys can call in. That is a legit number. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would play it. I would definitely play it, but with custom juggle wall. Yeah, wall that's what I'm wall. saying. Uh, I'd be careful. Yeah. Um, I definitely, uh, yeah, shy away from finishing it, maybe. She does play it twice, so. Yeah. See it proper or you gotta go home because I can't afford to have you terrorize my apartment in the process. Hey, don't send the young boy home. Hey, Jessica, you need $10. Hey, don't send the young boy she home. She doesn't even have her headphones. Bring the other, uh, the other video. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. He's hungry. He's thirsty. I saw him. I saw him. He was thirsty. Feed that young boy. Oh, my God. Don't you have any water? You can give the young that's going to leave, but she doesn't want to leave, so I said, fine, if you're not going to, I'm serious. Please just go home so I can, <coughs> okay? So please go home. You really do. Because, okay, I mean, right now you're not doing me much use. I mean, yeah, what do you do when the homeless person that you barely know comes and stays at your house? But, yeah, like Michelle gets up in her shit, dude. Yeah, I mean, what a what a terrible spot to be in. Like, you got to go. You got to go. Yeah. But no, 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 no. I just have to say, if you can leave for now, I, I really, I think I'd be better for you to deal with the show. So, would you get your meds? I really can't deal with this right now. You got to get your meds. You really do. Michelle, give her. So, would you mind coming back another day? Yeah. Go talk to your doctor, get your meds refilled, and then we can come back. But I can't. I got I need a. I need a I need a level headed person in the console. I can't basically have something like this. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. All right. So I guess in the nice way I'm saying is is I'd like you to come back another day. Okay. So please go home. Well, she gets mad, Marty. Trust me. Has she been drinking? I don't know, dude. I have no fucking idea. She just came in like just laughing up a goddamn storm. Like, there's nothing wrong with laughing, but this bitch was just non-stop. Well, in the title it says second last day in the job. Was she only at Michelle's for two days? Um, that, well, she was on. Yeah, that was her like second appearance, I believe. And then oh. Michelle never wanted to have her back. Oh, Trying but, to get her to, you know. Yeah, was this? I'm just wondering if if this two day period was the entirety of her stay there. Um, you know, no, she didn't stay with Michelle. Uh, she was there like one. It, they were like, I don't think they were back to back. You know, they weren't back to back days. They were just like, okay, like their second appearance on this show. You know, okay, yeah, yeah. She, seems to, she seems to be pretty drunk here. So she's got the sunglasses. I don't know what's going on with her, man, but uh, she's just something. Yeah, up to nothing but trouble. I'm gonna sleep under the apartment. Yeah, no, no, I'm serious. Please just go home so I can take care of these calls because I really don't have time to watch you watch them at the same time. Okay, so could you come back another day? Maybe. <laughs> All right, go home. I'll talk to you at the soup kitchen probably on Monday. Like, needless to say, Jessica would clobber Michelle. Is that a fair assessment? I'm so I'm so sorry, Marty. What did you say? Is is it fair to say that Jessica would clobber Michelle? Mm, that's what we were kind of worried. I, you know what? She was just laughing, but I mean that was that was in the back of my head after the homeless Mike situation. You know, 
that was in the back of my mind, but uh, I mean, I, she was just harmless, but yeah, I don't know. You never know with these people. Yeah, like when somebody even drops a hint that it's time to go, you leave, you know? Um, yeah, she was very reluctant. I mean, there are always like, you know, the stragglers and the people who just don't want to. Well, yeah, really yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, you tell them. Like, at some point, it's your house. You get uncomfortable. It's just time to go. Yeah. Uh, unenviable position to be here. Oh, lovely. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're going to be sitting there, you might as well fucking listen to the phone calls. <laughs> you can see Michelle's getting frustrated. Uh, yeah. All right. I, I didn't ask her to leave, but she doesn't want to leave. So I said, fine. If you're not going to leave, at least you're going to do your fucking work. <laughs> I never leave it, baby girl. I'm coming through. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Yes, hello. Hello, we can hear you. Okay, so Cole, are you still on the phone? Oh, this is Michelle. Oh, furniture, Jessica. What about the furniture? I know. Can they just dirty monkey feet off the table? You fucking rodent. Wait a second. Was that that person who lingers around uh, Boy Blues, the Scottish woman? No, no, that was a completely different one. Oh. Yeah, I'm not really too much for people putting their feet on the table. All right, don't be rude, bitch. You should be lucky that you have goddamn four walls and a ceiling around over your goddamn head right now. You better respect. Yeah. She's real squirrely. Take your ass back to the motherfucking dumpsters. Well, I'm not gonna be. I don't want to do anything rude, but um. okay, I'll do something rude for you, Michelle. I'll, I'll personally come there and kick that bitch out. I mean, if you live and attend, if you live near and attend a soup kitchen regularly, and like allow people to come back with you, you're just inevitably gonna wind up. At, with right, a new you're, bag. you're taking a chance for sure. Yeah, it's gonna come back and bite you at some point. But I might have to be a little rude. Just give me a second. I will talk to you later, Jessica. Okay? I, I mean it, seriously. You're disturbing some of my audience. Could you mind coming back another day? Yes. All right. You know I'm less convinced that Jessica could take Michelle. Uh, she's Michelle? Yeah. I think she could handle herself. She wouldn't want to, but if she had no. to, she could. Michelle's trying to pick her out, and she doesn't want to leave. She's reaching for cats? I mean... <laughs> what the fuck? Like, so... This... I mean, I, I'll call him a street urchin. I think it's, like, a respectful... For sure. Term. Um, or a hobo is probably better. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a whole post in your home, and, then, and they're trying to grab your cat as a, some sort of defense target. mechanism. Yeah, yeah like I, I won't take your cat if I can just stay here. And, you know, it seems like a good deal, right? She loves her cats. Yeah. <laughs> um, She's down to one because two ran away, but she loves her cats. Uh, yeah, I, I just. <laughs> I, 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 Jessica seems drunk here. She's, she's got something going on. Yeah, she's a lot less composed than she was previously. Oh, no. oh, oh man, Michelle's getting pissed. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care. Are you guys on the police? Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to. I'll let you go. She's happy. We gotta hear this. We gotta hear this. Let it go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here we go. 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 Here we go.
I mean, I'm assuming this is resolved by the end of this video. Yeah. I have a friend who lives in Connecticut, and I need the police department number for Wednesday. Two four two seven. Please call. Yes. Wednesday, Connecticut. Okay, let me get a pen. Hold on. Okay. Okay. That's okay. You need to take your ass to rehab, bitch. Okay. Um, no, I have a friend who is on YouTube live right now, and she is refusing to leave. There's something seriously wrong with this woman, and I'm in fear for my friend's safety, so I just want to... <laughs> Look, you're so fucking helpless here. I know, I felt bad. And I'm calling the fucking cop. There you go. Three. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Michelle definitely has the size advantage. No, <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. Hi, my name is um, Rachel. I'm calling from a different state, but I have a friend who lives there. And I can't believe the Rachella, she continues to trust them after leaking. I'm telling you, Marty, I'm, I don't know, you know, it That's boggles cool. my fucking mind, man. Like, no sense of loyalty or nothing, you know. No, like, leaking those tragic genital pictures, like, definitely, I heard it really jostled Michelle. And it did, man. It was really shitty of her. I mean, you, you know, is is you know, it, it, I don't even think I got like even a laugh out of it because I know Michelle was really upset by it, you know, and she did put her, you know, trust in somebody and, you know, they just fucked her over and like, just to do that to Michelle, like she recently was staying with a lady and then she had this lady, uh, like she like took advantage of Michelle. She was literally physically and mentally, you know, abusing her. We got her back to her apartment and this fucking lady sold like, uh, you know, fucked over Michelle's bank account basically, and she had to go through this huge ordeal. And it's like, how do you even do something like that to someone, you know, like Michelle? Like, she doesn't have, she's a smart person, but she doesn't have like the capabilities of like, uh, I guess you could say like reality and like, you know, shit around her, you know? I don't know. It's like, she's definitely not right. It's like taking advantage of our friend that we both have interest in. It's like, you just definitely don't do that. I mean, there's some people you can fuck with, like Cyrex, but like people, I don't want to say they're helpless, but they basically are. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't do that to, uh, you don't take advantage or fuck over somebody like that. Like you're just purely a piece of shit at that fucking point. You might as well just go out and, you know. Oh shit! Here we go. Check this out. Check this out. What's that? You mind turning off the? Camera? You came through on that. Yeah, can I just uh, mess up it was it was it was on way down below. Oh, okay. uh, I I just missed it. Appreciate if you turn the fucking camera off. I will. Give me a second, okay? Um, so let me just do this, guys. I gotta use the laser real quick. They know they're not kidding. Uh, he's he gets a little bit moody. Yeah, see, I'm a little bit tired of all the fucking sick people that call. They're not, not interested in your piece of shit. They're not <laughs> calling you right now. I may have contributed to that. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, uh, there are times when, you know, when trolling, like you, you evaluate your actions, you know. And, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't think it would. I, I mean, there were people saying a lot more crazier shit to him than I was, but I never thought it would get to the point where he would get like that fucking mad, you know. Like what, what were people calling him gay? I'm guessing for. Uh... Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was some uh, some things along those lines. I don't. They were just getting on him all in general, being homeless, like smoking used cigarette butts, and I, a whole bunch of like just throwing a bunch of shit at him. So wait a second. Where where do these cigarette butts come from? Ashtrays. Just like yeah. around ashtrays, yeah. Like a public ashtray, yeah. Ugh. 
I'm sure he picks them up off the ground, smokes them. Uh, <laughs> he likes his alcohol, you know. Yeah. So when he goes over to Michelle's house, he's always drinking. And he'll show, where's Mike at? Oh, we went out to get a beer. Or went out to get some, you know, went to the liquor store. Do you think these people like being a part of the show? Or do you think that they just have nowhere else to go? I, I would definitely go with they have nowhere else to go. I think Jessica liked it. But again, we, we may have scared her off that day, which was, you know, kind of a disappointment when I think about it. I would have loved to have kept her around and on the show. It would have been great content. But uh, I definitely think in Mike's situation, he just wants somewhere to go. Michelle's <laughs> doing her thing and he just deals with it. You know, they get somewhere warm maybe. I, I, I personally believe he probably swipes – Something small here and there from her, you know, fucking hawk it off or, you know, trade it off or something. Mm, yeah. I mean, she does have like that radio equipment stuff. Oh, she's got tons of shit, man. You know, vinyl records and, you know, I don't know. Nothing of really crazy value, but she's just got so much shit and clutter. I'm sure like, you know, it's probably not too hard to just sneak something out. Yeah. Do you, I've heard her finances discussed before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you have like the figures? I believe she gets twelve eighty a month. I want to say you know, her, rent, her rent is like four something, right? Her no, no. Her rent now is uh, it was seven hundred, and now her uh, landlord kicked it up to eight hundred on her. Um, so she's paying eight hundred, and then so she's got like four eighty left over. She does get food stamps. I believe she gets like a hundred and some dollars in food stamps um, a month. I mean, internet probably sixty bucks is the cheapest. Um, yeah, but she definitely pays like a hundred and some for the package, I believe she said, because she's got those phone lines and stuff. So like yeah, for, oh, her, yeah. for her, cause she doesn't have cable. She doesn't have like TV. So she just has internet and those phones. So that's like a hundred and some, I believe she said, um, well, then, you know, her utility. So she's not left with much. I would, you know, she does discuss this, as you said, openly, but she has told me like, she's 53 years old. I believe she's in a 53, turning 53, 54. She's got one bank account with two hundred bucks in it, and one, like one with one hundred and sixty. So, like, that's like her fucking life savings, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Like that would make me panic. Like, I'm I'm glad she lives in an apartment where like things can get taken care of. Like, if she had a house, you know, like I don't know how she could do it. Like, she wouldn't be able to. The FC guy, um, t people, you know, talking about people trying to help her. He for like three years ago, he tried to get her on this list for low income apartments, pay $200 a month, have the rest of her check to herself. Now you had to get on a waiting list. Granted, it would even take a year or two, but she didn't want to do it. If she would have done it then when he was trying to help her by now, she could have been in those apartments. You know, she's a very stubborn lady, does not like to change routine or how she does things. You know, it's been very hard twisting her arm to try and get her to try different stuff on her channel and play different you know she's she's just got her in the video game she's an old woman she's playing video games she's been playing this one for the past year now non-stop world pays, of warcraft yes pays 15 dollars a month for it and we're like you know you can there's other games out there you might like and can play you don't have to shell out money every month to play them you know so it's like very hard to get her out of her shell and routine and to get her to do something new or you know you can talk to her for like eight hours straight about something to help her channel out and literally just it won't stick and it's uh it's just a battle it's just a battle uh I, you know but she's a good person i i've definitely got compassion for her but like it's sometimes in point it's just like what am i fucking doing you know why am i wasting my breath yeah i mean you made a suplex comparison um i'm gonna make another one i, I kind of feel like you know her show is, is extremely important to her uh hence you know her paying all this money for all this shit definitely uh, quite limited income and, um, you know, like she, she seems, you're telling me that people are watching now and she's got like 40, uh, yeah, it's on a pretty good viewership now. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You, you wonder if like, uh, like, I mean, cause every, it obviously comes along with trolls as well. Oh yeah. Um, do you think it's like in a, in a, in a point where like suplex, it can go south for her? Um, and it will, um, it will at some point, definitely like the people who've come over to our show now, like there's this guy who gets on there. I, I'm not even, um, you know, I'm not sitting here trolling you, but he's like very intimidated by me and my one buddy who, you know, helped Michelle with her show. He's always trying to have witty comments. If I say something, he'll try and just like, you know, say it back and like try and make me look like an asshole. It's very immature. Some old guy who just came over there because 
um fucking noodles fucking told him to come over there and like he's like i don't know why you guys don't want me here i'm gonna be here for a while i'm like no one's even said that he's got his defenses up his name is puppet vlogger vlogger puppets he makes these he's a 70 year old guy he makes puppets of like different youtubers and he'll make these like little shows of it um it's extremely fucking sad um <laughs> well, I told- yeah it's extremely fucking sad and he's just very intimidated by me and he's just like always trying to one up do me i don't know man it's just so i was just been, we've been slapping him around lately nonchalantly oh um, my god stop it man. Uh, this it's is a bunch of old ladies over there you know simping for michelle thinking that you know we're being mean to her but like they don't understand how her fucking brain works and operates and i don't know he's got people simping over there and white knight and four now and it's really kind of sad but you know Michelle doesn't need anyone to defend her. She just needs help with the phone calls and support and, you know, people to be there for her. You know, she does not need anyone to defend her. This is pretty sad. As yeah, said. man, this guy is fucking pathetic. He's been trying to come at me. I was, was even figuring about, I was thinking about even maybe fucking inviting you in that chat one night if you wanted to come slap him around with us. I'm like, yeah, Bill, maybe we'll even get Marty in here and fucking just... You know, just go at this guy, but I'm like, nah, we'll, we'll leave it alone for now. Um, you know, I've been telling he, I just make him look. He's just like really mad. I'm like, dude, I really hope you find you know peace and love sometime. You'll be happy in your life. And, I mean, I, I'm happy. Thank you. He just says thank you like nonstop. I'm so here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm like, I'm trying to ex- explain this to people because it's unbelievable. But this guy has made faces yeah. and puppets of all like YouTubers. Yeah. He's a boy. He they hate Melton John over there, like in the boy community. They they don't like Melton John, and um, I got to take. I mean, I'm like, I'm. This is all the guy does, Marty. I mean, like, and then like he's like trying to come at me and saying, like, dude, are you kidding? So he sat up there and talked with Michelle. He keeps going, uh, you know, he strokes her ego. He goes, I've learned so much, Queen, from your show. Like we asked him, I go, you you sat up here, you know, with Michelle for ten hours. What have you learned? He goes. Well, I've learned about clicking the analytics button and looking to add analytics on my channel. And uh, if you go under a thousand subscribers, you lose your monetization. I'm like, you've sat up here with this woman, and that's all you've taken away from the fucking channel. Like, hmm. nothing spiritual, nothing about politics, like we talk about. Nothing spirituality. That that's what you fucking taken away. Like, you can watch a one minute YouTube video and learn that. Like, hmm. I don't know. I just don't get how he has like 4K subs and shit. Like, who would literally follow that and watch that and be like, "Oh, it's hilarious." Um, I just, I, I mean, I imagine it takes him a certain amount of time to make the new puppets. Yeah, you see how many videos he pumps out a day? He's like Cyrex, he pumps like three, four videos out a day. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty intrigued to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you should come. She does a show every night, seven o'clock, six o'clock your time. I'll invite you to the group sometime. You should just come and talk with this guy. I think uh I think yeah, you should just come and talk with him sometime, Marty. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh it's this is I can't believe how many of these there are. I, I know Yam Ranch don't like him for a fact. Uh he, Yam Ranch definitely does not like um blogger puppets. Uh, I'm just and they just go. I keep scrolling down, and the videos just keep going. Yeah, I held my button down. I'm like, let's see how long he's been at this. I held my uh, down page button for about a minute, and it probably went Dude. through about 150, 200 videos, and it was only like 11 months ago. I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like, how far Dude, back does this go? I'm still holding it down. I mm-hmm. mean, un fucking believable. That's what I wanted to know. Like, when did all oh this my start? God. Still. When did all this start? That's what I've been wanting. Yeah. See. This is so creepy. That's what I'm saying. And I told him that. And he gets so mad at me. I'm like, you say, like, these people's name. Like, I I, I, I pulled the tonic thing on him. I go, I go, you said David Noodle's name 23 times in five videos. And your videos are only, like, five minutes long. He's like, how would you even know that? Who who counts? Who does that? I'm like, yep. Like, he'll get real mad if you talk about noodles. He, like, simps for them. And, yeah. Dude, I'm still holding my down button. Yep. And gets real mad and shit because me and my buddy are just been there, you know, having a good time and just gets really pissed off about it. It's fucking hilarious to fuck with him. I love trolling the guy. 
He's like, yeah, I looked at your YouTube channel. You're doing great. I'm like, yeah, I don't even fuck with you too, dude. I'm like, I don't shit where I eat. He got really mad that I said that. <laughs> what does that even mean? And he, he says, like, he feels very intimidated. He does. By me and my, you know, he just feels very intimidated. Like, he's always on the defense. We'll say something to him. And why well, you always got to say something? Like, he just, he's always on the defense. Uh, All right, so yeah. I'm going to go back to, uh, to Homeless Mike here in a second. Uh, <laughs> Look at it, yeah. Like so, like he, he I guess he makes uh, videos of people in the Boyd. Uh, I guess he's calling G Mangos a bully. Yeah. Before yeah. I do this, I just want to show you guys like how many videos there are here. Uh, like you can hold your down button, and it, it, this is all in a month's period of time too. Two months now, like seventy-year-old man guys doing this shit. Um, so if you guys are doing this at seventy, I feel bad for you. Yeah, just look at all that shit, dude. It's it's fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Is he afraid of interacting with people as himself, and is that why he uses? The I, you know, he's like, I got a girlfriend, and I don't, like I told him, I was like, your your girlfriend's probably a puppet you made, and you just sit there and have dinner with it, and put <laughs> food in its mouth, and it falls all over your arms, and he just got really pissed at me for saying that. That's what I was like. You don't interact with people, and yeah, we all we got on them about that and shit. Like you play with puppets, like you're yeah. a low tier puppeteer. Like you don't even use a marionette or like a ventriloquism. And he was saying that the people in the puppet community like absolutely like spite him <laughs> for some reason. He couldn't figure out why, and that's what I was explaining to him because he's just like a low tier puppeteer. <laughs> he's a creep. Look at all this, dude. It doesn't that <laughs> it's not even like real talk, a hundred percent no fucking trolling. Does that not fucking creep you out a little bit, dude? Yeah, yeah, like a hundred percent no troll. Yeah. I, I mean we said you can hold it down for a minute. Like what that's is what it? I'm saying. I held it down for a minute and it brought me to like eleven months ago, uh is where I stopped. And like this is just ridiculous, dude. Look at this. But, like my pinky is getting sore here. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets numb. It's yeah, numb. right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this shit. Holy <laughs> Christ. I want to know when all this started. We're on a journey. Let's move on. Oh, my God. This is so creepy. Pup, vlogger puppets, guys. I mean, 70-year-old oh man. God. He laughs at his own jokes, too. That's that's the sad part. Like, no one laughs at anything he fucking says when he's on the show. Um, He has to call people, have people call up and be like, you know, simp for him and shit. Everyone else is just like, dude, what the fuck is this old guy doing here? Dude, my, you know, I don't want to be like a quitter and, and release my pinky here, but switch fingers. No, 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 no. Don't be no. afraid, man. No. Oh, holy shit. G mangoes, come on, Morty. Hmm. Come on, Morty. I can't get it going right now. It's G mangoes, brother. <laughs> Dude, this is like okay. Um, it's ridiculous, man. I'm telling you, you. I'm not. I'm not even trying to talk shit on this person. He's just a creepy motherfucker, dude. And like, I'm telling you, man. He's just. I don't know. I tried being nice to him, extending the olive branch, and he just, he's just an asshole. We were having fun on Christmas, and he was just getting really pissed off, and I don't know. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, you reached the, the end there. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh, I thought we were thought we hit the milestone. Okay, and I just want to see is like his recent stuff here. Um so I guess yeah, I guess he doesn't like G mangoes. It's something nope. like um I've seen Miss Wonderful before. This should be You need Norton three sixty for gamers today. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Mm. Yeah, agreed. Norton is a good program, though, guys. Oh, oh and whatever. Let's carry in a Christmas Eve special. Anything <laughs> new going on with you little haters? Huh? Anything new, haters? That's what I thought. Just keep it shut. I could care less. You people just riding on my 502. Keep riding my 502. Go ahead. <laughs> it was a wet, reckless, and I got nobody was hurt. And we're all in there, everybody, every five minutes, a new show comes up saying, hey, she's going to have to hit rock bottom before she realizes she's going to have to sober up. I'm a freaking outlaw. What's the sense of sober up? You want me to be like you old man sitting around there on the talkie talk shows? Oh, please, Mr. Blogger. 
Make me a puppet. Y'all make me a puppet. Make me good. I mean... So there's essentially 35 people over here. If you guys go over to his channel and just put like Schmeckle dominates in his comments, I can guarantee that would that would fucking piss him off. <laughs> Had like 10 people fucking say that, just um or something along those lines. I, I the guy does not like me whatsoever. Um, if you guys want to rabble rouse him, oh, man. Jesus. yeah, there he is. He's got a ponytail. Yep, he's got long hair. Why would he? What's like the bat feature? Young people, you, younger people are here. What? What is that? It's old people, you know. Video sharing for seniors. It was brilliant. I don't care what anybody says. It was a brilliant move I made. Really was. Yeah. Um, he just thinks he's just hilarious. I don't know. Yeah, Nick's wife gets it. Mendo. You're supposed to be training to fly Judd Vlaga. Nick, you're supposed to be. Oh, God. Hello, everyone. It's Nick's wife. We don't know what her name of her channel will be today. Every day she changed. Okay, I'm working out. Hello. God. Nick? Come on, Nick. Come on. Jesus, Nick. Nick, Nick. Like I said, he ate. How many, how many pop tots in a box? How many? One, two. But dude, this guy's the worst. Imagine taking your time to make the puppets. He's got nothing. Nothing. And I'll say it one more time. I'm sorry, but nothing on the talking fucking wrench. This guy is just pathetic. <laughs> nothing. Fucking wrench. Jesus. Um, you fucking meatball. Hey, you meatball. <laughs> nice. Got nothing on oh. the uh, Yeah, imagine doing it. Like, imagine doing this with your time. Already people say, oh, yeah, you waste your time fucking try. I'd rather fucking sit and rabble rouse people than sit in my fucking apartment, my house, fucking cutting up socks and shit, making these puppets. Dude, yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's probably gotten pretty efficient at making them. Uh, yeah, they maybe. All, yeah, so they all have like very specific details on them. Like it would take forever to do this. Like to fucking do doing arts and crafts and shit. This ain't no COVID shit, guys. He's been doing this before the goddamn COVID hit. This ain't nothing new. <sighs> this is, yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to be alive at seven. I'm not even planning to be alive at seventy to be honest. Let alone doing this shit. Right, back to uh, this puppet man. Yeah, let's get back to homeless Mike. Yeah, fuck this guy. Come rabble rouse him with me some night, Marty. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. But, uh, yeah. What's that? Do you mind turning off the camera that's facing me? Yeah. Can I use some assets? I would here? Really appreciate it if you turn the fucking camera off. I will. I was just, give me a second here, okay? Um, so let me just do this, guys. I'm going to use the laser real quick. I know, they're not kidding. Uh, he's, he gets a little bit moody. Yeah, see, I'm a little bit tired of all the fucking sick people that call. They're not, not calling. interested in your piece of shit. They're not calling you right now. I don't give a fuck. Uh, oh, I said, he's, like I said, he's getting a little bit upset. I don't know why. <laughs> you're all a bunch of fucking pigs. Oh, so I know. This is relative. Yeah. Um... Oh, I would have, I would have okay. went to Connecticut and fucked that man up if he did something to Michelle. I personally would have went there and fucked him up. Well, yeah, I suppose. Can't fuck with the Snow Queen. No. All right. First of all, let me go ahead and make a quick rinse of the bathroom, guys. I'll be right back. And I'm sure you're going to get a chance to hear him give you something, earful or something. Okay, great back, guys. You're a bunch of fucking losers. You think you're fucking funny? Playing fucking games! Don't ever yell at me. Like, I'm fucking stupid? Like, I'm fucking stupid? Am I stupid? 
Não, não, não vai me dormir, Jesus. Não vai me dormir. 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 The goddamn uh, fighting Irish, whatever they are. Yeah, I, know, I know you bet them once earlier this year, and I think it got you. Um, I did. They've, they've never been good to me. Um, yeah, how did the Florida game turn out? Oh, they only lost by uh, 35. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah. too bad. Not too bad. No, no. Sure, they made the spread, though. Yeah, it was a, it was a barn burner. Uh, whatever that means. Yeah. Not fucking stupid scumbag. I <laughs> 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 Then leave. Yeah, exactly. Fucking nasty ass fucking piece of shit. Why do you think this is so fucking funny? I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. They didn't want to show her right there. I didn't say it was funny. So you're mad at me? So who are you mad at? Me or them? I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. The next motherfucker who pulls that fucking shit, I'm, I'm not going to stop. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm stopping you. Sick and fucking funny! <laughs> All right, so... Let me get this. I got my fucking problems because people call okay. me. Okay. Tell me, ask me how big my fucking dick is. It's my big fucking job! <laughs> Oh, there's no shelter in Winston right now, guys. They're full. Don't get through their fucking head. <laughs> there's no shelter in Winston right now. Because they're all. Yeah, I'll just go back to our show. Fucking guys! Just fucking. Mike, could you do a favor and just calm down? You know what? You stupid son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm going to be on the fucking police station and have these fucking people recorded. How can you have on my show? You don't even know who they are. You think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> <laughs> How can you have on my show? You don't even know who they are. You think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, you see Mich Michelle's expression. Yeah, uh, like I, yeah, it's sad. You know, it's fucked up. But, uh, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps it cool, you know, during it all. Yeah. How much do you even know who they are? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Do you think this is fucking funny? Yeah, I think she does think it's funny. I, I think it's funny as well. Think this is a fucking joke! <laughs> something in my, in my ear. I'm not yelling at your ear. Okay. Maybe you can see why people would get a bit worried. Michelle, from this, you know? I tell Mike yeah. not to come. Right? I have a fucking voice on you! <laughs> All right, Mike, can you do a favor and just take a time out and go out for you know a while? Why don't you just get off that motherfucker? Go to McDonald's real quick. <sighs> you want McDonald's? I need some McDonald's. Just get off of the fucking computer for like 10 I'm minutes. I'm almost done with the computer. I told Shut you that. <laughs> 31 more fucking years old. I'm going to play fucking games like I'm fighting my head. I'm sick of this shit. Don't yell at me. <clears throat> Try to fucking stab me, you motherfucker. All right. Try to stab him. <laughs> uh, he's definitely got some mental issues. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that Michelle would stab this man. No, hey, she would never. Oh, what's going to call the cops? We're gonna, I'm going to get ready to wrap it up anyway. We got five minutes and 40 seconds, maybe less. When you call and you talk to this person, talk with some goddamn respect! Well, I kind of agree with that one. You know, um. Uh, <laughs> the camera doesn't do any good over there. 
there's there's no evidence anyway and this thing's nothing being done all right so what we're gonna do is mike is obviously got upset for yes. a lot of reasons for and his realistic fucking reasons too i will let me explain them number one some of the horrible no, the fuck is wrong mike could you just sit down and explain what's going on here Thank you. Some of the calls trigger him because they showed a total lack of respect for the guy. Okay, that's why he got upset. Um, he came on the show. He tried to be nice. He kept his control first, and then we got people started playing games. And you put it up her butt. Does she put it up your butt? What kind of fucking shit is that? I think it's a valid question. Call him. You should block him. You should report him. Right. You don't even know the people that were calling. Right. We don't, we don't know anybody who's calling the show. Um, and that is absolutely true. We have no clue who they are, Sissy Gal. As far as I know, Every they could have been. Day, right, motherfucker? As far as we know, that could have been somebody from another state, which they probably were. We have no idea who they are. But some people, unfortunately, do take. You know what they said some of the things that they said very personal and they get upset and i'm sure you're used to being treated and like if she said mike can be very volatile absolutely he's uh he's having a hard time at it for a lot of reasons <laughs> okay, Move fucking cats! okay. <laughs> why the fuck should i give a fuck that yeah. Mike, just relax for a bit. We're going to be leaving soon. All right. So for now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be going to lunch with him or dinner for him, trying to get him to calm down so he doesn't, uh, you know, stay mad. I'm pretty good about that. He, he, that's what I'm saying. I said, like, like I said, I'm going to take him out to dinner. Mike, relax. We're leaving now, okay? So I'm going to take this. Yes, I am. All right, guys, listen, for now, let me just hold on, Mike. Okay, we're going to get ready to wrap this up anyway, because it is time to wrap it up. Yeah, it's definitely time to wrap it up. Yeah, we can take a shit. Give a shit. Put on shit. Be shit. <laughs> so, let's do that. That's not nice, Mike. No. All right, guys. Listen. For the time being, stay out of trouble. Don't let anything bad happen. And uh, Michael, calm down. I know he will. Um, it's unfortunately, for some people, this... People did kind of push his buttons today. So I don't know what to tell you about those people, but um, you got to be careful when I have people on. Some people don't understand this channel at all. Heck, sometimes I, even I don't even understand it. You know? hmm. Like, you never know what can happen, uh, you know, with Michelle's show, who can call in. That's why it's like a good thing, you know, it's a watcher. She can be boring, but again, it, there are those moments where you know something happens. So, yeah, um, she seems like a sweet enough uh, lady. Uh, you yeah. know, it seems like some pretty volatile situations she's getting herself in. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, she's her worst enemy sometimes. You know, as we all can be, uh, including myself. I hear you there. Um. Got Lumi though, who lives inside of her head, the soul. You know, she she likes to troll a lot. Uh, you know, we'll tell Michelle to like, we'll get her try to do something simple. And fucking Lumi will block like the receptors in her brain from letting her do it and just fucking troll. It's uh, it's, it's a little frustrating sometimes. Has people of peace uh, been around? Uh, I know. Uh, you know what? He called in, I think, yesterday, and he was calling Michelle a cow. Um, Jesus. And like he'll get really mad if he ignores it. He'll just call it like, "I hope you die of cancer." And then the next day he'll like leave like twenty comments on her fucking video, like, "Oh, you did such a great job on the show, Michelle." And you yeah, know. I can't stand that guy. Yeah, farting. <laughs> yeah, pe people of peace slash Martin. 
Yeah, um, pe people of penis. Yeah, ni nice, nice. Um, He's part well, of the show, though. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mario. No, you're good, you're good. Really quick, quickly, you know, this is part of the show. You know, whether whether you like what he's got to say or not, uh, you know, you got to have him on and listen to the fucking crazy shit he says. He's claimed to have been Jesus before and all types of crazy things. Who was that? My cat. Oh. Um, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I guess more in line with the initial claim. Um, uh, Cyrax is, is tagging a teenage girl in the video. Oh, wow. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Jeez, Cyrax. That girl is maybe not even a teen. See, this is fucking not, you know, I feel just dirty even looking at that shit. Shame on you, Cyrax. Um, what else has he got here? Oh, man, I remember this one, too, where he, where he, he abused his dog. Oh, yeah. Let's run that one. Yeah, one second here. Um... Pop when full alpha chat on this dude. You want to take this one, Pop? Hello, are you talking to me? <laughs> you something I can't get in the rest of the 16 fictitious charges in less than five minutes, you fucking faggot. First of all, <laughs> you don't know who you're talking to. First of all, you have no idea who you're talking well, what's to. What's up with you, Maggie? First of all, first of all, you're using a derogatory term. I'm gonna make you cry. He's talking to a soundboard. Hmm. Yeah, it's a soundboard. I want to tell you something. If you if you even lay a finger on me, my, first of Let all, me see which one was it? Second of all. My spirit guides are watching, protecting me, and if you even lay a finger at me, you will be dealt with. Think you're talking to this guy right here. What? You wonder what the fucking devil's like? Yeah, see? I just played it. <laughs> nice. First of all, you can come for me all you want, but I'm not scared of anything. That's the only one I'm scared of is. Asna, because she's the, she's the one who created me, and that's it. I'm not scared of anyone except mother, the mother, the mother of all life. We'll introduce you to how things really work. You know, deep down, there's some really nasty motherfuckers that live in this world, and I have to be one of them. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you even try to hurt me, my, my angels, my birds, I'm not gonna take it. And you know, these motherfuckers, I'll rip your goddamn guts out of your fucking asshole. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm, I'm gonna take your dick, I'll cut it off and stick it in your goddamn old lady's face. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not scared of you, all right? <laughs> I'm taking you seriously, and I'm not scared of you. Your girlfriend, she needs a real cock in her fucking little <laughs> pussy. I'll fucking open her up for you. Who, who are you, you talking about? Probably like a little fucking grin. What are you talking about, Carl? Maybe I'll fuck her you when I beat your fucking ass and you're laying on the fucking floor bloody. You can watch a real man fuck your girlfriend. And you know what? Your girlfriend's probably nothing but a dollar fucking right bowl whore. <laughs> First of all, my girl, my, one of my... Okay, first of all, I have multiple girlfriends. I, I'm not dating. I have multiple girlfriends that I know as friends. Uh, second of all, most of girlfriends oh, you, are... Listen, I have multiple <laughs> girlfriends as friends. I'm not dating any of them. But if you try to oh, hurt... And, listen to me. If you try to hurt any of my female friends... 
these women who I'm friends are really strong and tough. And if you even lay a finger on them, they will punch the fuck out of you. Do not even try to hurt any of my female friends because we know how to fight. And they're strong women who don't take... Michelle, what? Michelle, what? Michelle, what? Michelle, what? Michelle, can you just cut this collar off? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it pretty shortly here. I'm just gonna watch. I guess Star X is playing Dynasty Warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, oh damn, coming out that crazy shot, dude. Never liked this game. Yeah, never. I'm not a big fan of it myself. You're really a fan of it myself. All right, sir. You want to play that game first? I, I, I don't know if he banned me or timed me out the other day. I suggested him, like, just winning the game from the Xbox. It'd be a lot better than him just turning the fucking camera at the TV. Yeah. 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 I, I told him he never finishes anything, and he got really pissed off at me. Like, I, I finish everything. So you didn't finish the 1K laps. You didn't finish the manga, the darkness. Like, the list goes on. And, I'm not sure if he banned me or just put me in a timeout, um, but uh, yeah, he didn't like that. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for tonight. Uh, Schmeckel, thanks for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me, sir. Right, you got it. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Take care. Uh, on that.